Guys, I had the fattest nap ever. Okay, hold on. Let me let me just set up everything. <laughs> uh, where's my tablet so I can read the chat? Let's see who's here so far. Hi, Minna. Hi, Penelo. I think I saw Yoma there. Let me set up my chat here. Um. All right, I'm almost there. We're almost there, guys. Hi, Diamond. View channel. I actually just woke up like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I almost didn't wake up. <laughs> Oops, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Okay, I finally have chat open here. All right, let's see who's here. Okay, perfect. I think I've said hi to everyone. Hey, hey, Savage, what's up? Okay, Savage, I haven't gotten to your PFP yet because I've been out all day, so I couldn't like look for the PFPs. Um, now I'm home. <laughs> uh, so I will be able to get to you. I do have least um what's her name Mello? wait let me pull it up i have it i do have it's naomi right naomi no 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 that this is not like naomi this is the two childhood friends one is osana and the other hold on i'm blanking out uh Anika? 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 Day, what drawings did I miss on Monday and Tuesday? Sure, I'll show you. Um, so far we drew this is Gakupo of Vocaloid. You got six arms Sukuna. And then I drew Naomi, which was Mello's OC. And then I drew Lottie, which was Yoma's OC. And then I also drew the three friends. So yeah, on Monday, I was like, hey, why not just do like a drawing for the sake of drawing and not do any of the requests? So that's why that's why Monday was just those three friends. So not 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 too much, not too much actually. We've been pretty t pretty chill, pretty chill. And I have wait, what's her name? What's her name, Melo? Uh let me see. Oh yes, we have Sir Pentius. I meant to I meant Sir Pentius for for Cherry, but I don't know. I don't want to do it without Cherry. Hey Yoma. Oh hey Evan. Hi Goofy. Da -da -da -da. I love baked potatoes. Me too. All right, we can start with Anika. Anika, tell me if I'm getting that name wrong. Oh, do you turn Kaiden into a girl? Wait, Kaiden's a dude. Uh oh, I made a mistake. It's Kaiden? This is Kaiden? I thought it was Anika. Oh wait, you were thinking of making Osana Anika? Or wait, was, was Osana a joke? <laughs> Oops. Okay, at least now I know. I think I did. I definitely drew her, I mean drew him thinking he was a girl. <laughs> but I mean, you don't really see his chest. We can just maybe adjust the back so it's not as like snatched waist unless you want to keep that you know you know kaiden is a cute name kaiden is a very cute name <laughs> mellow's like kaiden's a guy oh up to date um are you drawing damien today yes i am but i haven't prepared damien yet uh also latte is pro pro pronounced as latte okay perfect i'll i'll say that latte latte yes i do want to draw Damien x Damien. Okay, so far, the order of things, it seems like Mello was first, and then um, I saw Savage, and then we'll do Yoma, which is Damien x Damien, and Determined's here, yes. Okay, perfect, Determined is also here. But there are two out of this list that I have prepared already, which is Mello and Determined's request. So, we might just get to them first. Amazing, amazing. No, not yet. Um, 
I was I'm not really sure what goes in a mod application. So um, I think my sister told me she was giving me some advice. She's like, um, in a mod application, it's less about like finding qualities of a mod, but it's more about letting the people know what you expect from a mod. So I have to like make some expectations, put them in a Google form, and then um, send them out, and then I'll start assigning mods again. Yes. So that just you know, just so you guys know, kind of the gist of things and everything. Sounds so official, but shouldn't be too complicated. Um, today in drama class, we were acting a play and I fell and I put a hole in the wall and my knees hurt so bad. Oh, I hope you feel better, Goofy. I hope you feel better. Ooh, you're also in um theater. I was also a theater kid. Very fun days. So this is Kaiden. I want to fix his waist so he looks like, like kind of more like a boy. But I mean, he looks generally on the younger side, so we should be like, should be fairly okay. There you go. Kaiden. I love Kaiden's like hair design. Y'all are so creative. I do not have this much creative um, juices when it comes to character design. If anything, I think character design is one of my like weakest skills in terms of drawing. Dun, dun, dun. Ate breakfast today? Yes. Good, good, good. Potatoes, potatoes. No, it's latte. Low, oh, it's low tay, like the one in the toe. Got it. It is a unique name. It is. I would have never guessed low tay. The music is like so victorious right now. I'm like playing like Kirby music. I didn't know it was this like hype, but I'm I'm good with it. I'm chill with it. Dun, 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 dun. Also, I love all the hairstyles that you give your characters, Mello. They all have like my dream hairstyles. Like I want these hairstyles to be real. <laughs> I think it's possible. It just it just needs a lot of styling, like kind of flat ironing and everything. Oh, <laughs> Kaiden is a girly pop right now. He's slaying. Yes, <laughs> according to Mello, Kaiden is a dune. I drew a lib in a library book and I have to return in two days. Oh no! Don't worry, we will we'll we'll bail you out. We'll bail you out, Yoma. Oh no! Oh no! Hide! The authorities are coming. Did you see? I actually made my own pose today. Are you guys proud of me? <laughs> I've been trying to like practice my own poses again, just because I've been heavily reliant on um, Pinterest Pinterest poses, and I'm like, no. Let's go back. Let's go back and practice. We're a little rusty. We're, we're a little rusty. Hold on. Let me catch up with some chats here. I might have missed a few. Um, get the Lord of the Rings re references? No, I didn't. It's been a while since I watched Lord of the Rings. Yes, I, li I like his design too. It's very, very creative. Yes, Kirby. Hello, Ghost. Welcome to stream. Dun, 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 dun. Listen to Slipknot. I'll check them out later. Okay, perfect. I zoomed out my profile pic amongst some of my other ones so that you have a better view. Hopefully that helps. Otherwise, I can change it back if it doesn't. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then I can go to your profile on my PC so I can um, take a peek at it later. Uh oh, I adjusted the moon. Why do I adjust my line art like this? Sometimes I adjust my line art, line art and I forget like, oh, the original sketch was perfectly fine. Sometimes my head, my head really just floats, you know? Sometimes it's smooth in there. Maybe because the sketch is a little too like distracting. Let me lighten the sketch a little bit. You know, his hair reminds me of, um, what's his name? Wanderer? His hair reminds me of Wanderer. My friend told me yesterday, this might be a little bit spoilery on Genshin, but he spoiled it for me. He was like, did you know you can name Wanderer? And I was like, what? Yeah, he's like, you can name him because he doesn't like have a solid identity. 
And I was like, what did you name him then? And then he said he named him Sasuke. And I was like, not the Sasuke. He's like, it matches. Like both of their like emo-ness and like their lost family and everything. And I'm like, okay, you have a point. You have a point. Oh, metal or rock? I don't mind. Honestly, I am into all genres. I don't think I've ever like steered away from a genre. I'm more of a, of a variety, variety listener. I do gravitate towards like, I do have my favorites, but I'm I'm like willing to listen to anything. If anything more, I think I have phases. Like, oh, what's my phase right now? That kind of thing. And I just go back and forth the different phases. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. I think now the music is too low. Okay, I'm adjusting. Six hours sleep last night? Oh my gosh. I saw your conversations about sleep mellow on discord today i kind of just read through it real quick and big mood big mood um i haven't been sleeping uh properly these days mainly because i've been working on like projects right 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 and usually that's like me being overly excited to work on these projects so comes with excitement comes with like um energy and like i just i'm like a big ball of energy as soon as i get into bed and um i can't sleep i couldn't sleep last night till 3 a.m and then i woke up the normal time because i i'm a morning person so i wake up really really early i ended up waking up at 7 a.m so i got four hours of sleep yesterday <laughs> that's why i took a big fat nap before going live um, just cause, uh, like my, my sleep schedules or psych, what is it? Sir, so, 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 so I forgot the fancy word for it. Something, something rhythm was like off. I was like, I'm gonna take a nap. And then I woke up and it was like 7.50 and I was like, oh my gosh, we need to, <laughs> we need to skedaddle. It was fun. It was fun. Ah. Never get a reference off of Google if you got Pinterest. No, I agree. I feel like references on Google, their safe filter is not um, exactly accurate and they miss stuff all the time. So Pinterest, their their self safe filter is fairly like, um, fairly good. No, I do not skip any one diamond. I just read them and if I don't need feel the need to like comment on anything then i don't need to you know i, I don't read comments aloud anymore because i it takes way too long if i read the comments aloud guys i still do once in a while it's out of habit but i'm trying not to so i can just respond to y'all um i did my time and i want out oh is that a slipknot song oh what are you gonna draw little potato oh my gosh that's so cute there's a little potato in chat Wait, is Wander Scara? Yes, Wander is Scara. I told I told my friend I think I'm just gonna name Wander like literally Scaramouche because I've been calling him Scaramouche this whole time. I didn't know his like canon name was Wander. I was like, what? What do you mean he's not Scaramouche? That's a cute name. I wanna I want him to be Scaramouche. Oh hey Zavezda, welcome to stream. Stealing Kaida's hair now. Hehe, <laughs> he's now bald. <laughs> Honestly? Honestly, me too. Me too. Actually, I'm surprised I don't have a character with Kaide's hair yet. I might have made this hair as like maybe my persona's hair at one point, but now that I have long hair, I want it to be like kind of true to um, uh, my actual person. So I have a longer hair persona now. But when I had a shorter hair persona, because this was my dream hair, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm taking that for myself. I never achieved the hair yet. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see if we can get there one day. It reminds me of Krona from um, Soul Eater. I don't know if any of y'all has watched Soul Eater. All right, let's, let me do like a quick outline on the outside here. I like the look of that. Um, 
Yes, eat some good food. Yummy yum food. What did I eat today? I ate a Filipino dish called Biko Express, which is like spicy and pork, spicy pork with like coconut stew or something. Sounds strange, but it's really good. It's really, really good. Um, <laughs> eat my art. <laughs> Don't take his hair away. <laughs> He's gonna be bald. Your drawing process has been faster to stream, lol. Because I prepared them. <laughs> I prepared them ahead of time. Usually, if I don't prepare the the sketches ahead of time, we will take like double the amount of time to to get the the what you call it the person. Uh, what's his name? Kaiden actually took me the longest because he had the most unique like uh, pose happening here. But I was very excited getting to him. So, all right, now we can color him base. My milky white as base. And then I'll just go straight into pink because he has like very gentle colors. He has blue hair, kind of like Scaramouche, but I don't have a good base blue. So I might just like, I don't know, go straight in with like my light blue and then shade in with blue kind of on top of it, like a darker blue. And wait, let me check. I think his sweater is brown. Let me check. Yes, his sweater is brown. Like a really, really warm brown. I might use this one. And his pants are khaki. So we can just use like a like a darker skin tone for it. Okay, I got I got everything. Let me just do some chat catching up here. I'll either get four hours of sleep or fifteen. No real in between. For real though, it really it really is like that. I need food. Oh, there. Everyone's eating food in the comments. Burgers for you. <laughs> oh, Yoma, how could you? Cute, 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 cute. Top right corner and like the stream. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for reminding them. <laughs> I promise, literally was not thinking of Genshin when I made him. No, it's okay. No, no, no. I'm not saying that like... Like, you got it from um, Skara. I'm just saying, like, it reminded me of Skara. Like, he doesn't look exactly like Skara. Because he has this... Actually, let me let me outline it specifically. Because he has a really unique, like, white strip of hair. Right here. Um, I think where the moon is. I think that's so cute. Guys, I'm so tempted to dye my hair again. Like, the, the bleach, the 30 volume developer is right there in my closet. And, like, I don't know. I think four inches at least of my hair is undyed and I'm like so so tempted <laughs> but I, my hair needs some rest because bleach really does hair damage so I don't want it to be like overly overly fried <laughs> all right oh perfect we got a we got a Beyblade request that's our, that's my second one that's crazy Actually, Beyblade was my childhood, so I'm glad I'm, like, getting a throwback. Except, I think it might not be the same way Beyblade. The Beyblade from my childhood was the first one. Because I looked it up, because I'm like, which of the Beyblade did I watch, actually? And, like, looked at the main characters and everything, and I, yes, I watched the very first Beyblade, guys. I feel so old. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> at least Beyblade is still continuing. Is it? Actually, is it discontinued? I'm not sure. And I think the second Beyblade I've ever watched, like, tuned back into it, was, um, was it the one with the red hair, red hair main character? I don't remember which one it is. Some blush. Who else should I draw? Um, uh, what are your favorite shows? Draw the fa your favorite main character from your favorite show. Oh, sure, sure. Let me turn down the music a little bit. There you go. Oh, wait. I'm not sure if that actually did anything. There you go. There you go. Um, gonna have to leave my internet. So, no, you're good, Midna. You're good. Hello, Violet. Oh, my gosh, Violet. It's been a while. I'm glad you can make it. I remember you. I remember the early streams. Yes, I used to stream at, like, at least on my time zone more like maybe 8 20 no 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 i just said 8 20 because i looked at the clock i i meant um like 12 o'clock 
a.m. for me, and I was like, back then, back then, my my early early streams, and Violet was one of the the watchers there. You got jumped and got scared. Oh, and there was a crane. Oh my gosh, those cranes. At least in Ma where I live, those cranes have no fear. They literally just stand there. Even if the car is like about to hit them, I'm pretty sure they're illegal to like run over because they're endangered or something like that. Um, and because of that, they I don't know. It's not evolve, but they learn that humans won't hurt them, and literally they will just um, stand there no matter how much you try to scare them and everything. And I'm like, that's crazy. If anything, um, when I walk, I get scared of them because they're like taller than me, low key. <laughs> okay, good thing I outlined it so I didn't accidentally color it blue. Um, I have to leave now. Bye, Minna. Good night. Good night. Good night. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, did Nightbot say something? I might have missed it. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, the requesting. They're right, the requesting. Uh, <laughs> I went to make an army of geckos. Oh my gosh, go for it. Nightbot has almost caught these hands a few times. It's okay, I adjusted Nightbot. If, if Nightbot still is like causing mayhem, let me know. I'm gonna adjust him again. <laughs> At the day, L Lote's bestie died. Why do I sound so happy? I'm not the Lola was a good character. Oh, Lola was was a good character. Man, uh, classic, classic author power, you know? As an author, you have all the power within the world. Have I ever killed off a character before? Hmm, I don't think I, I don't think I have yet. Interesting, interesting. I'm surprised I haven't yet. Actually, this might be a perfect blue for um, Kaiden. I might not go darker. Because I already like how um, saturated this blue is looking. Maybe we can blend in a little bit of yellow just to have like... Or maybe a little bit of peach just to have like some color variations. So let's see if that works with marker. I know that definitely works with like digital, but I'm not so much... I'm not sure. I'm not so sure with marker. So let's try that out. Um, so I have this peach color that we used as the base for Kaiden. Um, let's try to blend it in. Slow reaction. Slowly the peach will kind of bleed into there. Okay. Barely did anything, but it's kind of there. It's kind of there. It's like the thought that counts. <laughs> I think he has green eyes. Yes, he has green eyes. So we can just render that now. Um, I want some puto Filipino dessert. Oh, wait, you're also Filipino, little potato? Oh my gosh, I'm glad. I'm like attracting all the Filipinos. That's why I'm like, I'm always so talking about like the Filipino foods and everything just to like see if there's anyone in the chat. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I am craving, what am I craving? I'm always craving like, um, kakanin, um, for those who don't know, it's sort of like any sticky rice uh, dessert. Um, so, I don't know, I think the most common thing that I can compare to it, that's sort of mainstream, who knows, um, what is it called? Uh, like sticky, st sticky rice with mango, mango with sticky rice, like that's a common like Thai dessert almost. Um, it's like that, it's similar to that. Very good. I guess you can call like mochi maybe like a sticky rice dessert. Um, so it's something along those lines. Anything under that umbrella with sticky rice and sweet, sweet confectionery. Um, yes, I'm craving that right now. And let me color the moons in his hair. Oh my gosh, you know the like cheesy line of like you have the stars in your eyes? You can literally tell Kaiden that he has, he has stars in his hair. <laughs> Just to raise him up, just to, just to raise him up. I just fell in a cactus. Oh no, oh no, that doesn't sound so fun. You seem very sweet. I'm definitely subscribing. Thank you, Gumdrop. Welcome to the channel. Um, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Wait, aren't you also a potato, Yoma? So, a potato meets a potato and happens to be a Filipino potato. That sounds like a setup for like a, a joke, like a stand up joke. <laughs> Except it probably wouldn't end out, um, end up uh, very uh, nice. <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Hey Wesley, welcome to stream. Look at all the loading screens. That's so cute. Wait, is that guys? Are you guys sending me emojis, or is it actually like loading emojis that you guys are sending? I don't know if the emojis are sending, 
or loading. <laughs> um, do purple because it's my favorite color. Oh, 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 no. They, uh, they have a they have a color already. Kaiden has a color already. Dave's gonna be so confused. LOL. Oh, we're all loading. Okay. Thanks for clearing it up. The term. And I was confused. How did you guess that I was going to be confused? I was like, wait a minute. Is the are the emojis like buffering? Is that possible? Is my internet that bad? It's so funny. I can't. Guys, okay. So, I, it's just a little teaser as to what I'm planning for the future. So, I want to paint like murals, like walls with uh, anime. Um, and maybe go live doing it. Because, you know, we have a lot of surface to cover and everything. Um, and I've tested out where... I've tested out the location of where I'm potentially going to paint. And it's not too bad. I think the Wi-Fi works. I'm not sure how HD it'll look, but I think it would work. So that would be fun to do. It'll definitely be like a longer stream, so I might start earlier when that happens. But it's just a little teaser. Um, it's just just thinking about it. Even the gaming streams is just a little teaser because I don't know how to go about gaming yet. Not gonna lie, I'm not the best gamer. Um, but I don't think you have to be a good gamer for Roblox. So we'll have to see how that works. Um... All right, I'll catch up from some chats here. Yes, give me a second. <laughs> oh, a second of confusion. Oh my gosh, y'all, y'all predicted it. Y'all predicted it. Wait, there's more Filipinos. Hold on, hold on. I might have missed a few people here. In the Philippines too, Monica's arts and crafts. Hey, let's go, let's go. I had the passion fruit mochi before. Ooh, that sounds good. I have a Filipino so it's uh, food. It's so good. Wait, you've tried it, Goofy? That's great. Yes, the ube pandesal. I agree. I agree. Y'all are great. Y'all are great. This is great. Hey, fairies win. Welcome to stream. Hey, cherry bomb. Welcome to stream. Perfect. We can do serpentius today since cherry bomb is here. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Play Daisy. Um, and I'll teach you all the game basics. Like, never trust anyone or they will shoot you. Oh my gosh, no, shooting games are, like, I'm absolutely the worst at shooting games. There was even, my sister even got the game, um, PS4. It was like, what is it? Plant vs. Zombies or something. I, I'm not sure. It was like a multiplayer. And, you know, it should be like a kitty game. The people who are in the servers shouldn't be too difficult. And yet, I still failed at that. <laughs> I don't, okay, there's this thing guys, I get dizzy in like 3D environments um, and I don't like have a good sense of my like presence as like first person like shooting so I get like confused. I'm like, where am I? <laughs> where am I? I don't know why. Maybe there's like a, there's a sense that I'm not quite good at. Do you guys know that you guys have five more five more senses so more than sight touch hearing um and i forgot the other ones y'all know what the other ones right <laughs> um you guys have more than five of them there's this one sense that i learned about and it's like the sense of having like surrounding your surrounding awareness i also don't have that one like i think it's really dull on my part um and the way i know is because someone could definitely be standing behind me and my friends have done this to like prank me or whatever and I would I wouldn't know like they my friend literally like walked up to me and he's like hey day I was walking behind you for like the past 20 minutes to like see if you would notice and like like you know like oh hey I, I didn't know you were behind me or that kind of like kind of realization that kind of thing and I didn't I was like well um that's kind of uh, uh concerning <laughs> Um, but so far, I haven't put myself in like a dangerous situation yet. So we're good. We're good on that side, on that part. I'm sure there's ways of sharpening your senses. I just don't know. I believe that everything can be improvable. Killed off Michael. Other day, forgive me. I know she was only 13, but I had to. Wow. Uh, I haven't killed off any of my characters. <laughs> But that doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything. I'm sure a lot of authors have, have um, have, excuse me, like Gege Akutami. Gege Akutami is one of my favorite authors, and look how much characters he has um, sent through the acts. Ah, uh, good times. <laughs> is it really? Is it really good times? Woohoo! <laughs> 
I have made, I think the most I've done, like close to making my characters suffer is um, really, really sad. I think I just put them through a lot of sad situations. I think, yeah, I think that's how I operate. Um, okay, I think we're done with Kaiden. I'm just gonna finish off with like writing his name down maybe with a darker blue. Um, Kai... Den. Hold on, I need to take off my sweater. I don't know even know why I'm wearing a sweater. It's like summer now and it is hot. Oh, let me let me increase the music a little bit. Now that we're more on like the background background music. All right, perfect. And then I'm going to do Geno's next and Serpentius and then I'll do Savage and I'll do um Yoma's OCs. Alright, let's switch here and then I'll like look up a reference of Geno's here. Geno's. Maybe we can even keep Geno's like black and white. Oh wait, no, he kind of has like one spot of color, which is like his hair. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I kind of drew him like an Ikemen. <laughs> Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, he looks like an Ikemen. Where did my liners go? I got my zero ones. Oh, here it is. My zero fives are right here. Okay, let me catch up with some chats here. Sand crane so loud. Oh, I don't think I've ever met a sand crane. The cranes I've met are quite quiet, actually. Phantom Forces is such a calm game and stress reliever. Oh, I gotta check that one out. I like comfy games like those. The, the guy at the door every night. I'm terrible at shooting. I usually just feed people rotting or raw food after befriending them and Daisy and doing Daisy trivia with them. Oh, that's cool. So I researched a little bit of Daisy and it's like it's like a survival game, right? So it's not necessarily like a shooting full out game or is it like how does that work? 0501. Okay, I'm gonna start out with maybe 05. It's a slightly bigger drawing so we can get away with 05. I'm not at your house, Melo. Gamer sense, go hard. Oh, I wish. Can I have gamer sense, please? <laughs> I think I, I, I think I um don't have that. I can feel eyes. Yes, that's another that's another sense that someone told me. I don't think. I think at least I don't completely don't have that. I I have I sense people when they're looking at me or trying to get my attention. Um. Uh, but it's a little bit dull too, cause um. I've had a few instances of like people telling me like, oh, this person was staring at you the whole time or like giving you the stank eye, some people or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I just wouldn't. I just not that I'm not that sensitive in terms of senses. Um, oh, I can't listen. No, you're good, Willow. You're good. I'm going to draw Invincible. Yeah, go for it. Yippee. Oh, wow. We're at the 30 minute mark already. I just saw Nightbot's message. Thanks, Nightbot. Shooting thing, j games are good at improving danger sense and reaction speed. True, and also not just shooting games. I feel like every game is really good at um, increasing like reaction speed and like I guess motor skills almost. Yes, I had a whole essay. We I wrote a whole essay for like my my freshman comp class or something, and one of the essays were like argumentative essays and I had to make like ar an argument for something and I think my argument was like video games are good <laughs> so I wrote a whole argument about that 132 oh my gosh at the day Michael Miyako remember my first OC ever her friends killed her <gasps> Miyako was betrayed by her friends wait that's your first first OC ever wow imagine your very first OC just sent her to like the gate. <laughs> My very first OC um, is very much um, alive right now. <laughs> She's thriving. If anything, my very first OC is very lucky because I think I draw her the most. Out of all my OCs, I still draw her to this day. There's some OCs that I've just stopped drawing. The forgotten OCs. I guess you can say that I've sent them to the guillotine too. But not not in the actual story. Not in the actual story. Day, is that tape on your markers to see how they look when they dry? Yes. So I use um, like sticker sheet paper and I just cut it out in squares. And I like 
I use my marker on this actual paper to see a more accurate like shade rather than their caps. But to be fair, I think the sticker paper or the thickness of the paper also changes the color. So it's not exactly accurate. Like for example, uh, with Kaiden here, it's a lot darker on here. But then if you check out maybe like the marker cap, it's still like, it still differs. It might be more accurate to like the marker cap actually. So I have to change it. I have to update it. I just realized it like yesterday. I was like, oh, I didn't know. Um, I drew a baby, but it looks like a demon had to draw a quick duck to cleanse the negativity. <laughs> LOL. I love Jeno's design character and personality. LOL. Yes, actually, I find him so very funny, um, which is perfect for um, a series like like One Punch Man. I honestly have to finish One Punch Man. It's like blurry in my mind because I haven't finished it. I think I got through half of season one and then I was waiting for updates and I, I just forgot to check in on the updates. And then season two, I, I never got to yet. So definitely have to catch up on that. Genos has that Megumi mentality. True. LOL. It's a survival game that you go around shooting or just beating with your fist and it takes like 2,000 hours to actually get good though. Oh, so, so it's not just like pure shooting game kind of like a uh, battle royale so it is like um there's other factors into it that's cool that's cool you have your options you have your options i know people who's been playing it for like 10 years oh and they're still mastering it that's crazy which one i'm trying to remember the game i have a friend who recommended me another game that i might be okay at in terms of like a shooting game um no i'm blanking out right now I'll eventually remember it. I'll say it again later when I remember it. Um, dun, dun, dun. Oh, thanks, Jake. Thanks for the subscription. Welcome to stream, by the way. Um, there are the reference. Uh, they're they're role playing in. There are a few bad things about Daisy though, like the weird features. Oh, it's weird features, sort of like outlandish, like the dot dot dot. What did I just experience? Kind of features or weird features, as in like like glitches like maybe game development glitches alrighty we got his hair his hair was very interesting just like so many spikes so many spikes happening dun, 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 dun. Alrighty, I, it's so cool. Like I, I was checking out like Genos's um like photo references. He actually has a lot of outfits. Like I don't like you know it's unique for a character to change outfits, especially hero or like kind of characters with superpowers to have. I was like interesting. The man's got style. <laughs> So I just chose like two random outfits and merged them together. Okay, then we have to do the face. Um, Damien got beat up by the people from the government. Then he got saved by Lote and that's when they became friends. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's like a grandiose type of meeting. It's not just like a meet cute. Wait, I can talk about Damien, my Damien later, but I'll, I guess like I'll relate to your thing. My Damien is part of the government. <laughs> Um, he like that. My main two characters for that story is they're both secretly royalty, actually, and they're going to the academy that's recently built by the current queen. Um, to prove that they are worthy of their position, because you know, like intelligence is sort of like starting to get valued within their kingdom. When before it was all about status. So now to keep their status, they have to prove themselves in terms of like academics and everything. Um, and they come from two different kingdoms that have two very different like needs for their um, countries. So like a little bit of political plot in there. Um, and they meet through the academy. Not so grandiose, not so grandiose, but their backgrounds are pretty grandiose. All right, let's erase a little bit of the sketching here um crazy they can play fifteen thousand hours and still be bad honestly i think that would be me 
<laughs> At the day, can I eat lote for dinner? I need your permission, please. I don't approve of cannibalism. Wait, unless you're talking about the the market lote, like the Korean market lote, right? Right? Wink, wink. Then sure, I love going to lote. The one nearby me is um, has a boba place. I don't really know what the name of the boba place is, but they serve the best coffee jelly. And every time I eat coffee jelly, I just think of Psyche K and I'm just like such at a bliss. I'm just happy. <laughs> I have to shade in Genos' eyes here. Do I want to do it with markers? Nah, I think the markers are going to bleed out a little bit. So I'm going to shade it in with my liners. Dun, dun, dun. Um... There's some glitches, but I'm leaning more towards the fact that the animal meat isn't the only meat on the table. <gasps> oh, so basically, they're doing what Yoma's doing. <laughs> I see, I see. I think it reminds me of, um, whatchamacallit. I think uh, Pal World has some options to do that as well. Right, right, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not 100% sure. I know Pal World is like known for its like weird mechanics too of like, you can catch a person kind of thing. Pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Pretty comedic. Um, dun. Hey, Evelyn, welcome to stream. Wait, I have missed. I might might have missed some. Okay, there you go. I met. I'm drawing Ghetto. Oh, good luck. Good luck. Ghetto is really fun to draw, actually. Actually, I say that, but I'm like, I will just say that about any like JJK character. I'd be like. Yeah, Mahito is actually so fun to draw. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times, good times. All right, now we can go ahead and shade his hair in. The cool thing about his hair actually has like, wait, let me check a little bit closer here. Let me check some like manga actually. Well, how is Geno's in the manga? Geno's manga. Does he actually have a little like shine in his hair? Oh wait, no, it's just it's just shadows. It looks like shine, but mainly shadows. Got it, got it. We can take that into consideration. So we can use... He kind of has like blondish, palish blonde hair. But I don't know if we're going to pull that color off. Maybe this one, and I can just like... Use gray to kind of um, shade it in. Let's see. Let's see, let me just swatch this a little bit. Nah, that's a little too peach. Maybe this one. Oopsies. Oh no, that's orange, orange. Where are my yellows? Maybe... Yeah, no, I only have bright, bright... Okay, wait, no, I haven't looked at my other marker set. Actually, my other marker set might just have the color. Perfect. It goes a little too far into the realism, really. In terms of like animation, that is, that is, that is interesting. That is weird. That is weird. Hello, I think of Psyche K2 anytime I see co coffee jelly. I know, right? Like at this point, I'm so like entranced by Psyche K. <laughs> I see the references everywhere. No, I have a friend who loves, loves like, um, what is it called? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And like, He's just like that too. Everywhere he looks, he's just like, oh my gosh, it's a JoJo reference. Wait, I think that's a meme, isn't it? Like, people make it on the, a meme on the internet of making everything a, Go a JoJo reference. Maybe that's why. I'm like that, but like naturally with like the shows that I like. <laughs> uh, one time, my, my sister and I went to Georgia and... I saw these red flowers and they honestly look like the demon slayer flowers so i just blurted out i was like oh my gosh it's a demon slayer flowers and she's like you've been watching too much anime and i'm like is it a surprise really at this point <laughs> it was funny it was a pretty funny interaction damien sent people from the government to beat damien beat up damien how dare he oh my gosh the plot twist the plot twist that could very much well happen especially damien comes from like uh 
the difference between like uh, Damien's government and uh, my my main female lead's government, which is wait, what was her name? Oh my gosh, her name is Naomi too, which is similar to um, Melo's OC's name. Um, versus Naomi's government. Naomi's government is like flourishing. She comes from like a very rich country, and it's like oh wait, it's a little too gray. Oh well. From a very rich country, and Damon comes from a very like um like mountain locked country in the north, so it's very like um scarce food is scarce, everyone's kind of pretty tough um so yes, if Damien sent people to beat up Damien from the government, I don't think it'd be very quite safe for him he would uh he would uh face face off with a few thugs. Let me see if I can rectify this. I think, I think I can. One day, I'll just draw OCs for you guys. I'm just gonna yap my head off about my OCs. Because I can. I can honestly do that for like hours and not run out of topics. <laughs> I'm an expert yapper. Alrighty. And then, I just have one shade for him. What is this one? Warm gray. I think warm gray would be perfect for him. Wait, actually, let me check another reference here. So I'm in the manga pages. Yeah, I think warm gray would be okay for him. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I know that he has some skin color, but we'll do a warm gray and then I'll like kind of um do some peach peach in there. Just to like blend and some create some cool like hues here. Let's experiment. I do know that he has like a a darker neck, so we're gonna shade that in later. Then maybe wait, where's my milky white? Let's see if it works. Experiment on color again. As per usual. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Smile and nod. <laughs> Smile and nod. And then on his neck, we can go with some warmer, darker tones here. Um, let me check out more. Not Lotte, but the drawing you made of Lotte. Can I eat it please? Sure, actually, it probably tastes like caramel. There's like a lot of caramel hues. I allow you. Here you go. I don't think so, but Power World players are known for their improper work ethic for their creatures. Oh, okay. So it's more towards their creatures, less about their human. I think the only thing I heard definitively about their human practices is um, you can catch humans. So it sort of like goes into that like, oh, you are mine now kind of thing. Let's see. His veins here are silver. Wait, what about this lower part? Let me check. Veins are silver, and then his lower part might be silver too. Yes, I think his lower part here is silver, so. Oh wait, the music is too low now. All right. How long have you been drawing? You're really good at it. Thanks, Jake. I've been drawing for 10 years, 10, 11 years, but it's a lot of on and off. Like, I'll draw, like, um, a lot. I drew a lot in the beginning, like, first four years, and then I took a break after that, and then just resumed. Um, took a break, drew a little bit here and there, and then resumed a lot this year. So now I'm trying to make it a goal to kind of draw every day, and so far, We've kept up the streak, <laughs> so yes. And then for some like shading on his metal parts, I'm just gonna go in with some like darker grays, I guess, and let's see if we can blend it out. I think we can. Right here. All right, and then I'm gonna go back to the original base color and see if we can just soften that. Beautiful. Hopefully we're still at a Kirby playlist. Let me check. I think so, because I have like an eight hour, okay, beautiful. 
And then for his outfit, I think it's just black. Maybe a different hue. A different hue this time. Is this a, a warmer black maybe? Yes. I do like the shade range of like grayscale on this marker set. That is one thing that it has advantage over than my previous marker set. There's like cool blacks and warm blacks. Which I really like. I think these fuzzies are just white. So I'm going to leave that there. Alright, we got Genos. Genos. Alright. Alright, let me catch up some with some chat here before I move on. Oh, I know Genos has yellow eyes. I shouldn't miss that. Yellow, yellow. And then I'll just shade in his pupils. Okay, I gotta lower that one a little bit. All right. Yusuke Murata is my favorite manga artist. He's made the art for One Punch Man. Oh, is Yusuke Murata the one who worked on Ice Shield 21? Let me Google it. Yusuke Murata. Who did he make? He worked on One Punch Man. Oh yes, Ice Shield 21. That's so cool! Yes. I think he was the one who offered to help out one, right? With his series. My mother went through my phone today. Oh no! Is that a JoJo reference? LOL. Uh, today, who are you drawing? Also, hi Kent. Oh hey, hi, hi Kent. Um, welcome, welcome to stream. I am drawing Genos from One Punch Man. Next, I'm going to draw um, Sir Pentius since he's here already. And then we'll move on to Savage's PFP. Yes. Um, let me move some of my markers around here. You guys go here. Oh, let me push this back a little bit. There you go. I think you can see all of Serpentius, right? Alright, for Serpentius, I'm going to use my graphic liners for a more doodly kind of look. If I could find them, found it. Then let me um, catch up on this. Ooh, baked potatoes. You guys are making me hungry. Uh, I love Itadori, Nobra, and Megami. Me too. Me too. I gotta say, for me, the best JJK trio has to be Hawkery, Gojo, and Yuta. Okay, that's a random trio, but you just like the three of those characters? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. At the day, when you draw Damien x Damien, you should make my OC sort of look beaten up and mad and your OC should look like apologizing to my OC like he doesn't care. Uh, and then mine can look annoyed. Okay, I can do that. Honestly, my OC is kind of cold, so he'll, he might not look apologetic. He might just look um, mean. <laughs> As a PAL world player, I can confirm that I do have humans mixed in with my PALs. Oh no! Wait, they drew Lotte, Lotte. Can you show me real quick? They sure. Uh, right here. Ta-da! It is Lotte. I made a mistake. I heard, I saw Tan in um, Yoma's description, and I thought that she was Tan. And then she's. I forgot that the fact that she is Korean American. So I was like, oops. Um, I didn't mean to make her that Tan, but. Almost there, almost there. I almost got her. Um, yep, 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 yep. Thank you, Determined. I'm glad you like him. Thank you for requesting him. I might even go heavier on his shading here, but it's too late now. Can't go back. <laughs> I just looked at it. I took a quick glimpse at it. And I'm like, oh, I could have done some shading on his face, but I, I didn't. With this yap session, I summon. Yes, I call. I like calling it yap session. It's really cute. Do you have anything you post your art on Yoma? Oh yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I think Yoma, um, just, I don't think she does. I don't think you do Yoma, right? Um, okay, perfect. I think I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Big yapper, the basket yapper. Me. Going for a second? Yeah, see you later, little potato. Um, four hours and was at work for eight hours before that. Wow, uh, that is... Um, great. I hope that you find some refuge with uh, refuge rest <laughs> with our stream. I'm only 0 0.4 years old. <laughs> uh, and thank you, Dave. Beautiful artwork. 
and wonderful character design. Yoma. Oh, thank you, Kans. Thank you, Kans. Thank you, thank you. All right, we'll do Serpentius. Let me find his reference. And then we'll get to um, Savage's uh, PFP here. Serpentius. Okay, we got it. Okay, so Serpentius is actually like. His main um, color palette is black, so I'm gonna have a hard time trying to like blend. Maybe I'll just go with my lightest black so that my ink doesn't kind of like just blend in. But at least we have some nice red accents and some nice yellow accents. His design kind of reminds me of Bill from Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. I'm sure there's some Egyptian kind of inspiration from that. Dun, 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 oh my gosh, it sends me back to my childhood. I played so much Kirby back then. Um, wait, hold on. What was I trying to do with this? I don't think this is accurate. I think it's just two circles right here. And then something like that. We can't continue his hat, but it's something like that. Right there. We finally got back to the has-been characters. I think I'm gonna eventually reach the end. I think we have like six more left? I'm not sure. Oh, this marker is also drying out. All my markers are drying out. I have to find like a new pen to like depend on. Maybe like a pen that allows me to refill it quite easily. We'll see. I have to research that. Maybe a dip pen. I've always wanted that. It's called a G pen from Japan. Because it gets like very nice, very like lines. So I think I'd enjoy that. And I do have a lot of ink that I can work with. And I think the ink is um, smudge proof. Pretty sure. You just have to wait for it to dry a little bit. Where did my eraser go? Let me clean him up a bit. Because I think the sketch is with lead. And I think lead smudges with, um, with my markers. So we'll try our best to keep it as clean. All right, let me see here. Oh, I'm going to get off stream, but I really appreciate your drawing. Bye, Determined. Good night, good night. Have a good sleep. And thank you for always lecturing us on our sleep schedules, because I definitely needed that. <laughs> it's so ironic that you guys were talking about like sleep schedules, and I my sleep schedule has been messed up recently, too. Uh, good times, good times. I, I've been really meaning to fix it because if I can get my sleep schedule fixed then maybe I can even start exercising because guys I do not get enough sunlight vitamin D and my sister said you're always low energy because you do not go outside and touch grass and I was like okay so I guess I gotta do more of that but I'd rather do that when it's like not blaringly hot outside because I live in Florida so the sun that's quite hot over time. Okay, let's get to his base color. Let me just grab my markers here. I think this is a good base color for him. And then his hat, we can go a little lighter. Maybe I can just go for a gray for his hat. Gray. Wait, maybe, maybe these two. Yeah, now let's do these two. And then for yellow, I swear I had a yellow good yellow base color here but where did it go somewhere here oh i can't find it i'll just grab another yellow then i might have a good yellow pastel yellow maybe oh no they say pastel yellow and it's like a super bright yellow pale yellow there you go and then some orange orange and i think that's it red 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 we have i think this red is good okay perfect we got it can put this back a little bit 
show. Oh, if you're taking suggestions, you should draw a Metroid. I will write that down, but I'm not, I can't guarantee that I'll be able to get to it. But I do take um, suggestions, and if you show up early next stream, then most likely I'll get to your suggestion first. That's usually, that's usually kind of how I run it. Um, all right, first his base is on the darker side, and then his hat is on the lighter side. So I'll, I'll start out with this. Here, let me use his chisel tip. Oh, hey, it's, I subscribe, um, good art, what's your name? Oh, my name is Day, nice to meet you, and thank you for subscribing. Um, I knew that this was the Kirby soundtrack, exactly, exactly that. That was my childhood, so really sends me back. What are y'all, if you have played Kirby, which one is your favorite Kirby that you've played? I think the two that sticks out to me the most, one is um, Kirby, what was the one with like many, many Kirbys? Let me Google it, I forgot what it was called. Um, many, many Kirby game. <laughs> what is it? Um, the Kirby game that had a lot of Kirbys. LOL. I don't know. I don't know what to Google to find it. Um, the game that had many, many, many many Kirby's <laughs> please which one is it maybe I won't find it okay no I don't know but there was a Kirby game where you can play a lot of Kirby's like a crowd of Kirby's that one was really good and fun and then Kirby yarn because it's so like unique the gameplay was so unique it was very fun too and in kirby yarn you could customize your little house which was so cute they really knew who they they were making the game for <laughs> girlies like me um it was like you it was like sort of like closer to like a comfy game vibe almost and mainly because um my siblings and i kind of binged the game so i think we finished the game in like three days or something so that had kind of left a good memory good memory in my mind Oops, I think I scrolled up too far. Um, oh, Nightbot. Thanks for Nightbot. Mm. Yes, Sir Pentius for Cherry Bomb there. Return to Dreamland or Epic Yarn. Mass Attack. Yes, Mass Attack is really fun. Um, the Epic Yarn, right? That was like the, the Kirby Yarn one, right? Return to Dreamland sounds familiar. I might have played that one too. Not sure, I don't remember. Let's see if I, I think there are two different shades. I think I think it's good enough. Wait, let me go get his reference here. He has yellow on his hat. Maybe you can just put it over. Um and yellow on his goggles. Googlers, Googlers. Not the customization, I forgot, right? That was my favorite part. Like collecting the little furnitures. And then I'm like, yay, I can add more. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. I was just like, it was so, I was like, this is so different from any other game. And also like it reminded me, reminded me a lot of like Animal Crossing, you know, make your own home kind of thing. Yeah, no, this is what I mean. I have a hard time coloring like darker characters just because the line art just disappears and I'm like, oh no, I'm heavily like reliant on my line art. Let me outline this part and then I'll do my chisel tip because this one turned out a little too messy. There you go, I fixed it. There you go. Alright, then we could fill it in with the chisel tips. 
the game with a lot of Kirby's. You mean the match of Smash Bros between a bunch of Kirby fans? That, I guess, you could count that. That sounds like a typical afternoon at my um, Filipino parties. I play with a lot of little children um, at our like family gatherings, and a lot of them actually do play Kirby. But to be fair, at the very least, playing with the children gives me a chance to win. <laughs> My other friends are way too serious at Smash. I'm just like, are you... Oh, I'm like, they're almost at like competitive level. I wouldn't be surprised. I think some of them do compete. It's like, excuse me. Wait, this is a family gathering. <laughs> this is a family gathering. Let me win. No, I'm kidding. Nah, I don't think anyone, anyone's like um, too salty when they lose at our um, family gatherings. Definitely not me, guys. Couldn't be me. <laughs> not me in denial. I think the best one um was this one. Wait, was it was it Rob? There's one of my family friends that was a Rob player, and he used to like. I think it's called Edge Guard or something. He used to Edge Guard so well, and I'm just like, how? How? How are you doing this? Please. Dun -dun 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 -dun. My brother is a... Um, oh yeah, who are y'all mains in Smash? For those who play Smash. My brother is a Isabella main. Oh wait, I forgot the marker blocker. <gasps> oh no, oopsies. Um, in his, in his uh, Isabella main. And Isabella? Isabel? I forgot. The one from Animal Crossing. He plays it really well. Animal... Uh, the Villager too, I think he plays. My main... I think I main... Marth... And wait, I think I'm blanking out. I forgot. Probably Zelda. Marth and Zelda. Yes, those two, those two. Um, are you talking about the Kirby Star Allies? No, not that one. I do have that game. But it's like um I think it's called Mass Attack. I think Ken's got it. Yes. It was 100% Mass Attack, yes. <laughs> I think you're talking about Mass Attack, I believe. Yes, it's definitely that one. That was so fun. I remember that being on the DS. Man, I miss the platformers. There was this other platformer that I played that had like a little star as the main character. I don't remember the name of it, but I remember that being really fun as well. Kind of similar vibes to Kirby. And then I also played a little bit of Mega Man, but I don't think I've ever finished Mega Man. So I can't really say I was like a Mega Man fan. Um, mainly because my sister took over. We all shared one DS, so it was like, oh, whichever game you claim, it's kind of yours kind of thing. So, <laughs> yes, good stuff. Red. Okay, so this base red is sort of on the pinkish side. Maybe we'll blend it out a little bit with another red. Oh, not too bad. Never mind. I'll definitely do some shading on the yellow. I think the yellow is a little too pale. We can probably go a little more orange with it. Um. Oh, hey, there you go. That that my sister's in chat. Shani, wait, should I be saying that? Maybe? He, well, I mean, she said the little one says yes. There you go, I was talking- I was talking about you, Shani. <laughs> wait, Shani, did you play Mega Man? Or was that not you? What did you play? Which one was that game that you played? The platformer game? Other than Kirby. Not sure. Maybe she's not here anymore. Yay, my fave fav fav Kirby song. You should listen to World Revolving. Okay, let me check if it's not copyright. If it's not, then I'll play it. World Revolving. Is it a game song? Um, If it's game, then... Oh, yes, it's Deltarune. Perfect. I think... Wait, Toby Fox? Let me check, actually. Let me go to another channel and check. Okay, perfect. Okay. I don't think Toby Fox um, copyrights his games either. Hi, you want to say hi? What missions? What message? Oh, you're the one who sent the hi in the chat. Yeah. Cutie patootie. Cutie patootie. 
Thanks for your message. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have fun in Minecraft. Oh, you finished? Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Yeah, my sister, my two sisters have been like playing Minecraft and building up their um, one block world. She's so cute. I love her so much. Um, let me see. Should I draw my OCs and make it my PFP? Yes, that would be that would be so cool. Do you like streaming? Do you stream every day? Yes, I do, Tan. Welcome to stream. I do mainly the um, every weekday, every weekday, 8 p.m. EST. Yes, the Sega game. Yes, the what's a Sega game? The um, what you call it? Mega Man. Mega Man is a Sega game. Is Kirby a Sega game or is it a Nintendo game? I actually don't know. Um, Sir Pentius has like a tongue here. And yellow teeth and black background. So maybe we'll go with the darker black. If I could find it. I think this one. Um Oh the the star one is a Sega game. I struggled so much with Mass Attack. I don't think I ever beat it. I think I ended up beating it at some point. I'm not sure. I've, I, my memory is blurry. My brother actually still has our DS. I might steal it from him. Just yoink it from him and start playing again. I still think the DS games were the best games to this day. Honestly, I don't think anyone, any console is going to beat it. <laughs> or maybe that's just nostalgia for me. Who knows? I'm not really sure. But the DS games were the ones I played the most. Should I draw a latte and then make her my PFP at the day? Yeah, sure. If you want to. That would be cool. All your OCs as, um, as uh, your PFP. That would be cute. Um, oh, yes. Is it Restar? It might actually be. Let me check. Let me Google it. Oh, my gosh. You guys are bringing back such a memory. Yes, it might be Restar. Fun times, fun times. Man, I love platformers. I always just like labeled myself as, um, whatchamacallit, uh, like a RPG fan. But honestly, the only RPGs I played as a kid was probably Pokemon. So I think I'm more of like a platformer, like, fan, almost stan. I'm not sure what the right word is. Um, okay, so Sir Pentius has some shading down here. And then right around here. And I'll just color his teeth yellow since we kind of overcolored it. I'm really bad at keeping details. Um, let me see. Let me catch up on a little bit of um, chat here. I'm done with the cow. It's so cute and fluffy. Cute, cute. I'm so proud of you, Willow. Uh, does anyone remember Milky Way Wishes? This one was my favorite as well. Let me Google it. Milky Way Wishes. Oh, I have not. Wait a minute. Now I kind of want to play it. My goal is, is it, is, what platform is it? Is it a DS game as well? That looks cute. Oh my gosh, you almost like, hi, Atishani. No, you're good, Goofy, you're good. Crocheting a duckle right now, cute. I have, actually, I crocheted a, it's supposed to be a duck, it ended up looking like a chicken. So it's supposed to be a duck, but, um... He has a, he has identity crisis. He thinks he's French, and he thinks he's a... He thinks he's chicken, but he's actually a duck. Poor guy, you know? He's just living life. He's just living life. <laughs> um, can you do a My Hero character? Uh, sure. Uh, in the next in the next stream. I think my my um, my queue for this stream is pretty full. So if you guys want to like guarantee get your character drawn tomorrow, next stream, 8 p.m. EST, same time, um, get there early and then I'll most likely get to your characters um, uh, first. Yes. All right, I think we're done with Sir Pentius. Then I'm gonna do Savage's PFP. Let me just pull up her PFP here. Oh, we switched into like Delta Rune and Undertale music. I'm down with that for that as well. Now that we're in the second half of the stream, we can get 
a different a different soul. Alrighty, let me find Savage here. Your videos. Let me mute this. Live. And let's do yesterday. Guys, my PC has been so slow these days. Is it the end? Is it the end, baby? Oh, oops. I don't need that. All right, let I'm gonna let that lot. I'm just gonna read um some some um chats here. I have like four options of all your your um. Honestly, I like Kaiden. Kaiden's design the most. I might be biased because he looks like Skara. <laughs> oh, I do have Angel here. Let me flip to Angel for you if you wanna. If you're curious, he's like very early into the to the book right there. Okay. Um, got some two tier Toyota, and I learned to actually make it fast. And currently, my best drifting car. Oh, that's cool. Went from one one two to one two one today from my recent meme short. Hey, let's go, let's go. Good job, Vars. I think I need a new phone because it just turned off for a while. Oh, that is a scary, um, scary feeling. That happened to my phone before, and honestly, conspiracy theory maybe, but I think T-Mobile was the one who did it, which is my cell provider, because they had like an, an insurance promo going on. So I called them and I was like, hey, my phone isn't turning on. I've never done anything to it. There's no water damage. I've never dropped it. Like like what are you doing i know this is a software thing because i can feel it buzz whenever i turn it on but it's just not turning on what are you doing with my phone and they're like we have an offer so you can get your phone replaced blah blah blah, blah. do you want to sign up and i was like whatever like anything to get my phone back and not have to pay like the same price again um or have it repaired or something so i got the promo they charged me like i don't know 40 dollars or something and then the next day it was fixed i was like not even i think it was like three days after i was like um this is a scam um can i speak spanish no i'm okay i'm sorry uh wait who's the character with blue hair kaiden is um mellow's oc yes uh, can you draw Ushino Ugi from Monogatari? Next stream, next stream, next stream. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I finished my drawing and I added a background. Yay, good job, little potato. Uh, French chicken if he wants to. <laughs> Cute. I'm drawing Lola, which is Lotte, Lotte's bestie that died. Oh, wait, I thought it was Lola. Okay, Lola was the one who died. Oh, poor Lola. Rest in peace, Lola. You totally should play it. Only problem is you have to be two side games in Kirby, Superstar Ultra, and yes, it's on the DS. Oh, perfect. If it's on the DS, I think I think I have a way that I can get it. I'm not sure. I have been summoned. Hey, Mel. Welcome to stream. Yes, the man with the blue hair is my OC. Cute. Another Suki. Yes, was also Suki. Hello, beautiful art. Thanks. Thanks, little Miss Artist. Welcome to stream. Hey, Mel. A day? Question mark? Uh, change my name in YouTube and no, nobody knows me. Help. Wait, who are you, Mel? <laughs> who? Are you Mellow? Oh, it's Mellow. <laughs> She's like, day? Hello. <laughs> okay, cool. It's mellow, guys. It's mellow. What's the best way to get into drawing? Honestly, just start with like things that you enjoy. So it has to be like you're interested in because it's all about like at the beginning, it's all about um, are you having fun or not? Because really, if you're not having fun, it it's hard to get motivated to get into drawing. Then once you're super into it and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm kind of like really, really into drawing now, um, then you can start um getting into the fundamentals and i think if you want to start like maybe you're at the stage of getting into fundamentals already one fundamental that i would like look up is shapes so like simplification and shapes very fancy words but they're basically like 
figuring out how to draw something by breaking them down into shapes. So like, I see a triangle here, I'm gonna add a triangle in my drawing. I see a sphere here, I'm gonna add a sphere in my drawing, that kind of thing. So that's a good like kind of starter, starter, starter pack for drawing. Um, charged my tablet with my wrong charger once and it broke. Oh no, I had to get a new one. Yeah, I think um something with electric currents as well might have something to do with that. And definitely like the port. How, oh, wait, I already got that. Uh, bro raced me after a year. Um, and I used my GTR R34 and he used a Ghostbusters car and he won. Wow. That sounds like a fancy car. I know nothing about fan cars. So I'm like smiling and nodding right now. Hey, Vincent, welcome to stream. Okay, so we're gonna wait. I think um, I think Savage's uh, profile finally loaded for me here. Let me see if I could find it. Savage, maybe maybe near the end. Oh, perfect. I found I found her PFP. We're gonna go to her channel. And wait, is Savage here? Savage, are you here? I don't want Savage to miss it actually. So if Savage is not here, I'll have to wait. And wait till she comes back. Open image, new tab. Um, I'll wait for her her reply. If Savage is not here, then we'll move on to Damien x Damien. Oh no, that reminds me of the church she's from my church school. We got huh? That is wild. That's a wild story to um, drop. I'm grandpa. Grandpa? Oh, there, perfect. Okay, so we can get into Savage's PFP. Perfect. See, I forgot my marker blocker, guys, and I ended up staining, staining the markers. Grandmother, I'm being impersonated. Oh, wait, no, you're Rosie. My bad. I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh, no, I got lost. I got lost. Hehe. <laughs> Hehe. What? Mello is right here? <laughs> oh no, I'm getting lost. <laughs> I enjoy making girl OCs. Me too, me too. I think I have more girl OCs than I do have guy OCs. But I'm creating more guy OCs now. Now I'm kind of like pulling back on my girl OCs and I'm making more guy OCs. So we're all, we're all it's a balancing act. It's a balancing act. All right, T. So I'm gonna draw you in an anime style, Savage. At least I'll draw you in my style. Usually that's what happens when I end up drawing like um, someone's PFP. I'll take the creative liberties. Where is my needable eraser here? Guys, I don't know how my needable eraser become became so small. I swear it was bigger than this. I swear it was like at least this big. It's like half the size of the original size now. I think I've split it and then like I just don't know where the rest of it went somewhere i'm sure it's here dun, 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 dun. Jacket. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm catching up in chat. Wait, what did I ignore you for, Mello? Was it the whole impersonation thing? <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so many artists here. Yes, they are. There are. Miku, Miku. When I was five and now I'm 13 now. Yes, I think Miku will stay forever iconic. And I think that's the most amazing part of it all. Um, like, I remember Miku being very relevant when I was a child. And she's still very relevant even to this day it's it's crazy it's crazy i think that's beautiful to stay such an icon for that long i think i might draw i can kind of imagine you in like the demon slayer art style I'm thinking about it and i'm like 
I have a vision. I have a vision. I just have to match your eye shape between the two here. Oh, my bird is flying again. Frost, why are you flying? It is dark. He's been flying these days, like at night. Hold on, maybe I can like... Let me reposition the chat here because I'm like, it's the opposite of my the direction I'm sitting at right now and I'm like missing a few here. All right, perfect, perfect. Um, Right here. Oh, if you have to make bars again? No, please don't make me draw bars again. You know how difficult it was to draw bars the first time? But it was fun. It was fun. By all means, I did not regret it. Uh, but it was definitely a new experience. I've never drawn a dragon before. And then on top of being a dragon, a skeleton dragon on top of that. I haven't even drawn the human skeletal body. And that was my first time like... <laughs> so fun. So fun though. Ding, 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 ding. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I have to do more mouth studies. I think my mouths have been so simplified these days. I can definitely like make them a little bit um, cuter. Oh, there you go. That's a cute, that's a cute mouth. Yeah. I have to expand my visual library, essentially. I need to do more studies so I can expand my visual library. There you go. And then we'll have a few hair strands kind of coming out here. This is where we'll start imagining. Alrighty, I think, I think I got, and then I just have to draw your jackets right down here. But I think we got majority of it. Now I just have to line you. Zero five. Alright, let me catch up on chat here before I start lining. Um, at the day, why does Lola look so happy and innocent in my drawing? The drawing took a place a week before, you know what happened? Oh, no, not the dread. Not the dreadful day for Lola. Um, what I'm seeing now, the process of simplifying shapes. Yes, so that is the first step um, to everything. Like, draw everything that you see, basically. It might be your favorite character. It might be, I don't know, I used to draw, like, my desk a lot or my room a lot. So I would look at, um, uh, maybe an arrangement on my desk and I'll simplify that into shapes and yeah don't get too stuck on the details focus on the big shapes for now they add me on discord and teach me a drawing style please I need to draw vars barrack for my manga no I'm not the best at teaching vars I probably wouldn't turn to me Ethan Becker is a good starting point if for those who are beginners who are really like hey oh wait no I don't know if Ethan Becker is good for beginners but he's a good channel if you just want to look up an art channel to like kind of watch I always recommend Ethan Becker. <laughs> He's an animator, so he knows a lot about like simplification and shape theory and all that good stuff. I didn't even know celebrities when I was five. No, I'm the same. I'm the same. Um, would you? Uh, don't mix me up with Melody. And my name is Mel. Okay, got it. I will. I won't mix you up with Mellow. Mel versus Mellow. Oh yes, Mel versus Mellow. I almost said the same thing again. Would you consider making an anatomy tutorial? I have not mastered anatomy at all it's interesting you bring that because i actually am doing anatomy studies right now as we are speaking i have another sketchbook that i've been doing anatomy studies on which i'm not going to be sharing because um uh they're not good yet <laughs> so we'll we'll get there we'll get there i think rather than a study or rather than a tutorial what i am going to end up posting is my progress on anatomy study and what i've discovered while studying so it's not a tutorial but i'll do kind of like a here are my notes kind of just like here are my discoveries yes eventually eventually we'll get there once i get to kind of like a level of mastery i'm happy with i'm happy with um need to go to school soon good luck at school soon uh soon Good. Good luck at s school, Mel. Yes. Um, no, what did you do, Willow? What happened? What happened? Oh, wait, the mod thing? Oh, it's um, it's not it's not because of anything that you did, Willow. It's just all the mods have just I've just revoked. I'm gonna be like making mod applications and not to like 
not to like um, make the process like harder to choose a mod or anything. It's really just um, so that I can set the expectations of what a mod should do kind of thing and write it out in like uh, a, a post almost, like a Google form. And then you guys can read through that and apply again. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. It's nothing too official or scary. It's not like an interview or whatever. Or like, no, 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 no. Not, not, not that at all. It's just me um, ma keeping more, more organized. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, how do you all get mod? It, um, I will make mod applications for the future and then just keep an eye out for a community post. And definitely I'll let you guys know on one of the lives if anyone is interested in being a mod. Um, yes. But not, I haven't made the form yet. So give me like a week, guys. <laughs> I'm like buried in like um, self projects right now. And like my mind is so bad at multitasking. It's actually, I need to improve on it, actually. This is kind of more closer to my Disney style. I definitely had a Disney phase. So like my old, like there was a style where it was heavily like Disney inspired and anime inspired at the same time. So it's like a mix of the two. Good days, good days. Okay, I think I finally caught up, finally caught up on chat here. Uh, no, don't cry Willow, don't worry. Yep, 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 yep. It's no one, it's no one specific. It's no one specific. Um, Want to play Roblox at 4 a.m. tomorrow? At 4 tomorrow, I want to show a racing game. Oh, like 4 p.m. EST? EST? Um, maybe Friday. I was thinking of making Friday kind of like our... Oops. I overlined. I overlined the eyes. Okay, I'll just have to adjust. Uh... Right there. I'll fix it with my... La, whatchamacallit? With my jelly pen. I definitely overlimed that by accident. Didn't mean to, but it happened. Maybe I can just add eyelashes to rectify. <laughs> there you go. And then I forgot the nose actually. Cute nose. Alright there. Smiley smile. Um Yes, more organized, more organized. Cause I kinda just made everyone mod one stream. <laughs> beginning early early like i wasn't taking streaming like oh it's just casual um and now that i'm doing every day i was like uh oh i think i kind of rushed into this a little too quickly so definitely um need to do that dun -dun -dun -dun. oh no 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 not at all not at all um oh hey nightbot's reminder thanks nightbot I'm trying to learn from many different people. You know what? I really am going to one day hunt down the exact videos that I learned from um, on certain like topics and put compile them on a playlist. So far, I do have a playlist on my channel that says like art videos that help me or something like that. Um, and that might help you, but I think it's more, it's not really a beginner playlist right now. So I'll try to compile more videos that are more beginner. Let me find my jelly roll. So I want to fix some um, Savage's eyes here. I think I overlined it. Um, oh, my jelly roll is missing. Not sure where it went. Oh, well, I guess I can't fix it today. That is part, that is the fun of, um, fun of traditional. Sometimes we can't undo. <laughs> Guys, you, you know those memes that explain like, oh, I accidentally like double tapped on my notebook today thinking it would undo. I found myself doing that recently. It's crazy. It's crazy how that works. Okay, so gonna start with our base color here. All right, let me catch up on some chats here. Okay, I think I'm caught up. Perfect. I'm playing Roblox Shindo Life. It's a Naruto game. That sounds fun. Working on your fursuit? Good luck. Good luck, Yumika. Do any of the concepts used in cera ceramics translate well to paper? I do a lot of ceramics. So if those skills translate, that would be awesome. I've never done ceramics before, but I'm assuming like any of like 3D um, like media, right? Um, I generally think probably the concept of shape um, translate well with ceramics into drawing. If you can like, you know when you're trying to make um, 
anything with ceramics. You're imagining like, okay, what shapes can I add to this to sculpt it to accurately represent what I'm thinking of? It's the same way in drawing where you look at a item or a thing or a person or whatever it is, and you're like, what are the shapes involved in this drawing or in this not 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 drawing in this. Um, object that I can use to build this object, sort of like Legos. But because you're the artist, you have the free range to make and put all those Legos together. Um, and it's gonna be a little rough at first. I think the hardest part about beginning is whatever you're looking at doesn't necessarily translate to um, uh, to the paper. Uh, but you will eventually get better at it. One exercise that my art teacher did for us that helped train our brain to kind of get better at that. Actually, yeah, I'll talk about what my art teacher talked. I only had an art class for one year and his tips were actually very helpful. He said, take a drawing, whatever reference you have, um, and put it upside down. Like literally, like look at I, my our first drawing that we did for class was a horse. And I've never drawn animals before. It's actually one of my weaknesses. And what your eyes like doing is it likes thinking that you're smarter than you are and it starts assuming shapes. That's why we have such a hard time training our brain because, you know, your brain is like prideful. <laughs> um, so instead of assuming shapes, flip it upside down so your brain is like, hold on, what even is this? It doesn't see a horse. I don't see a horse. This is not a horse. I don't recognize a horse. Um, and then when you draw it upside down, you're really only focusing on the shapes that you're like drawing um, or, the, or the lines even, not even just the shapes. You're focusing on the lines that you're drawing and then compare the two and kind of reflect. Yeah, that's a good exercise. Drawing upside down would be a good start for that. Um... Oh, you inspired me to make Kaiden a girly pop? Really? Only if you want to, Mello. I didn't mean to like make him a girly pop, but it's cute. He's cute. He's a cutie patootie. I drew a chibi version of Lola being dead. It's so sad and so cute at the same time. No, no, that is so dark, Yoma. Poor Lola. I'm sure, I'm sure she's a cutie patootie. I, I know your art style. Like, I can already imagine how Lola kind of looks like. Oh, can I request for you to draw a character on stream? Or are there too many requests at the moment? Um, I think... Honestly, you probably can. Let me... I'll, I'll note all of them down. And then, like, I might... I, honestly, I'm just kind of random on who I prepare ahead of time. So, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I most likely could will prepare if I have time tomorrow and everything. I actually had time to prepare today. It's a good thing I actually prepared, guys, because I took a fat nap as soon as I got home. So, like, I took my sketchbook with me and kind of went out today. Um, hold on. I think my camera's kind of angled weirdly here. I want you guys to have a better, better angle. Let me move this a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think, I think. Maybe it's just my view. I'm not sure. There you go. There you go. Yes, you can you can request Ken's. I honestly like out of sight, out of mind. I'm not sure. This is kind of our cue mm, right here. It's not too long. I think I have Sanji. I have drawn Oikawa already, so and Metroid. So we don't have too long of a list. We should be okay. Yes, of course. Thank you for requesting Savage. Um, I'm glad you like it. Sorry I overlined your eyes. I didn't mean to. Um, I usually um, fix it using a liner, like a white liner, but I can't find my white liners. I think I maybe it's in my cabinet. Mm, oh yeah, it is. Okay, we can fix it a little bit. Let me do some markers on it first and then we'll fix the shape of it. Just like magic. It's sort of like a white out for me. Oh, and glasses. I forgot the glasses. We can draw it over. Let's see maybe it's like a an olive green maybe i can just do mm, gray because i don't have a light enough kind of greenish hazelish color in it so maybe a, a warm gray is probably perfect for your eyes right there and i want to add more kind of um blushy tones where did my blush go i think this one maybe for you right 
there. Skin rendering is one of my favorite things to do, and even in digital, makes me so happy. I used to like eye rendering, but I don't know, not so much these days. I'm just like, I just want the eye as simple as possible. <laughs> Even though the eye is like kind of the focal point for a lot of anime illustrations. Well, actually, let's see. What can we use to make some values in her hair? Maybe this one, I think. Let's see. Or is this too similar? It might even be the same one. Who knows? Yeah, I think this is the same color. Oops. Let's use this one. Um, I'm for sending this uh, Discord server links. Oh, to me? To me? Guys, gotta be careful my delete server because people are dropping zip bombs. I banned them? Oh, for your server? For your server? Or for our server? I think Zvezda's got us. Um, Bye, Willow! Bye-bye! It's so, so cute. Thanks, Ardito. Welcome to stream. I, at first, I thought a whole pers I was a whole person. That was until I saw my first, my other half. Oh, walk away! Not the friendships. No. Actually, I think friendship angst is what gets to me the most. Guys, I was doing um one of the videos and planning is to do like an analysis on Skip and Loafer. And for those who don't know, um, which most you of you probably, Skip and Loafer is a very wholesome like, um, slice of life. Uh, high school set in a high school setting anime and they're just a bunch of friends getting along together and figuring out how to be friends with each other and everything and it's so wholesome and it made me cry multiple times it's still making me cry multiple times and yes i can't wait to get the video out um talking about it because honestly it's one of my favorite series i might get the manga for it oh wait it's just a mite it's just a mite all right, let's fix it with a jelly roll. The magic of the jelly roll. Man, I have a I have a bad habit of overlining like um pupils all the time. I have to like get rid of that, get rid of it in my muscle memory almost. Oops. Right there. And then glasses. I think the glasses are the final part. Right there. And just a little notch up here. There you go. And then some reflective kind of lines ta-da and then we can even take it to another level if nah i don't think the glasses are making that much of a reflection so we'll keep it that way and then blue for kind of like a jean jean sweater kind of thing um any additions you make i'm here for yes i'm glad i'm glad savage i hope you like it Ta-da! Whoops. Um. Yay! Yippee! 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 It's been a while since I've drawn like a uh, a real life into kind of anime style. I think my last one is a. Uh... Oh wait, no, I did Emerson recently. Yes, I did M. I did M. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna do Damien x Damien. Yippee! Okay, okay, we'll do... This is my first time drawing my OC actually on this channel, is it? Maybe? Oh yeah, you won the volleyball match! Yippee! Good job! Good job! I keep wanting to call you Nishinoya. Actually, um, good job! <laughs> I was gonna say good job Nishinoya. Good job, good job. I actually have Oikawa prepared for you in celebration of your victory. So before I get into Damien x Damien Latte, la, Latte, I called Yoma Latte. I meant Yoma. Then I will, um, I will um, create a uh, do Oikawa real quick since I have Oikawa kind of ready here for, 
for an, um, libero there. Should I make this character drawing? Um, because the show is really violent. If you want to, I think if it conveys emotion, then I think um, it would be worth it. It would be worth the the concept. Oops, I think my keyboard's being... Okay. Let me move this a little bit. And look up Oikawa. I think I drew him more in my style than the original style here. I'm starting to get more comfortable incorporating my style in the drawings. Thank goodness, that's kind of why I started this sketchbook. Um, it's starting to happen, slowly but surely. Um, mm, 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 this is a good reference. It's fun because Oikawa actually makes like quite... Um, quite crazy expressions because he's so like his personality is so not out there but you know he's prideful so he makes a lot of snarky expressions i actually love doing like kind of like a study on the types of expressions that he can make um yes i hope you liked it savage thank you for requesting um uh, help, I just realized I've been drifting a 11.85 and a 20.86. I do not know any of those words. I just, it feels like I just, um, whatchamacallit, I just said a magical spell. <laughs> back from school, welcome back, Mal. Wait, that was so quick. Was it just like a quick, like, uh, drop by? Like, oh, I'm there for only a few periods and I'm gonna go home. Oh, yeah, sure. Here you go. You can screenshot it here. Let me actually, let me get you as close as possible. Um, let me see if that's good. So you can get a good clear screenshot. There you go. I'm sorry if she looks a little lopsided. It's just the way I like the angle that I'm drawing at kind of made her look like that. There you go. I think that's a long enough, like long enough, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, at the day, please look at my PFP. It's my drawing. Ooh, okay, wait. Let me pull up the stream so I can, um, I can see that. Let me go to Yoma's channel. And then I can click on it. Open image new tab. As clear as I could. Zooming in. Oh, that's so cute! Wow, you have made such a progress with anatomy too, Yoma. I see that you have been doing your work. Oh my gosh, this makes me fired up even more. I love that Aqua is sending his, like, um, what is it called? In the Discord, his uh, anatomy progress and um, discoveries. Because it really does get me fired up to study anatomy myself. And then seeing Yoma study anatomy too, it's all happening, it's all meant to be. This is the signs that I really need to like lock in with my um, anatomy studies. Because I think that's really the missing piece with my drawings. I've got color, I've got kind of, um, kind of uh, different types of character design studied. I've got, backgrounds are no problem for me, I don't know. I, I started with backgrounds, I really enjoyed them in the beginning. And then now I'm kind of just like good. Um, not good at them, not amazing at them, but good enough to to make pieces. So now it really is just anatomy that I'm lacking in. Before I was a choice of like expressions and anatomy. Oh, and now like I've kind of got expression styles from different characters. So yes. Yes, she is so good at drawing everyone. Look at Yoma's drawings. Cutie patootie. Oh, you weren't feeling well? I hope you feel better, Rosie. Feel better, feel better. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Thanks, Jake. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. It's an amazing drawing. Thank you, thank you. Um, just added you on Discord. Oh, okay, okay. L I'll check it out later. I'll check it out later. I'm not logged in right now. Ding, 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 ding. I'm gonna go sleep in a bit because I need to rest. Yes, rest well, drink plenty of water. I do know that um, kind of like uh, stomach sick sickness gets you dehydrated. So make sure you stay hydrated and um, feel better, feel better. Yes, Yoma's art style is like the cutest thing I've ever laid my eyes on. Like actually, like no exaggeration. <laughs> 
Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, at this point, I actually like kind of scribbled out Oikawa quite quickly. Um, maybe because, I don't know, there's something about the Haikyuu art style that probably is very similar to, not similar, that would not be the quite accurate description, but maybe reminiscent of my own art style. So it's like, very, I'm very comfortable drawing all the characters out for Haikyuu, even though I've never drawn them before. I think I've only drawn Hinata before. Precious boy Hinata. Oh wait, let me increase the volume here a little bit. So you can have some music in the background. <laughs> I'm, I got you, Vars. I got you. Oh yeah, see you later, Savage. Have a good day and thank you for requesting. Yes, yes, yes. Change the PFP to... Wait, let me reload it again. Actually, this is a genius way of sharing your art because then now I can, um, what do you call it? I can actually see see what you want me to show. I want, want you to show me? Want, you want me to show me? Okay, I'm getting confused with words here. Okay, show image and set image, new tab. <laughs> Not the dead face <laughs> and the little ghost. That's so cute. <laughs> Oh no, rest in peace, Lola. Wait, how does a volleyball look like? I know that it has green, orange, and white. Let me see. Found it. Sort of like a swirly swirl. I'm gonna mess this up so bad. Look away. Look away and close your eyes. <laughs> okay, it's something like that. Yeah. It's something like that. Um. Are you gonna? Are you aware of your car's extended warranty? That's so funny. Y'all crack me up. Um. Where's my eraser? Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's hiding under my sketchbook. Time check. Oh, it's already 10. Okay, so I'll maybe I'll go a little later so we can get to Damien X Damien. Um, that is, I'm like, that's the one I've been looking forward the most to doing. So. But I don't want to go on for too late today because I said I was going to fix my sleep schedule. <laughs> I sound like I'm lying. I don't believe myself. 2000 no you're good you can sing a song seems like seems like it seems like it someone uh murdered lola justice must be served is it is it lote that kind of um solves the mystery for lola Okay, I'm just adding random gray hues where I think there's wrinkles, but honestly, not much rhyme or reason behind this one. Just me adding random colors. Ooh, this is like a perfect color for his team. Wait, was his team Ahobi Jose? Jose, something like that? I forgot. Forgot, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> Ken's is so invested in um in Yoma's story. I'm also invested. I want to know. I want to know more. Oh, how long do you think the stream's gonna last? Day today until ten thirty p.m. for me. So about thirty more minutes until I finish um Damien, the two Damians for Yoma and I. So sleeping a bit earlier today. Not too late, not too late. And then I don't know if his sleeve has any like detailing on it. Can't really say. It's somewhere here. 
I'm just gonna assume that maybe there's like a strip here. That's yeah, sure, sure. That's so canon, so canon, so true. All righty, time to render him. That's weird. This marker sometimes feels like it's like really dry and then there's days that it just feels really juicy and today is one of those days. Maybe I just have to like move my markers around in their positions. Maybe. Maybe. I'm still losing my voice guys. I don't know why. I'm not sure. Ooh, Eurobeat. Eurobeat. I actually haven't checked out Eurobeat yet. I haven't checked out any music yet. I've been like non, not listening to much music. Am I still listening? Oh, is this a Mori? Okay, wait. Let me switch back to like since we played Omori yesterday. Um, which game? Which game? Let me think. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is kind of my go-to. Do 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 do. Here we go. Alrighty. Okay, let me finish um Oikawa here. Yes, we do. 100%. We're humans. We are humans. We're not a different species. Mm -mm. Mm. Then, just finish off Oikawa here with a warm toned... Wait, base? Maybe this one. Maybe. Am I AI? I like to think I'm AI. I hope I was AI. No, 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 I don't. AI has false information, so maybe not. But it would be cool. Like, it would be cool. Maybe, maybe I'm closer to AI than you think. Probably, actually. I will not further expand why, but I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Man, Animal Crossing music is so well. I actually don't know who the composer is. So well composed. I have to go check if the Genshin music is like copyrighted. Because if it's not, then we might just play some. <gasps> I forgot the marker blocker. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting everything. I bled through the whole other page. That's okay. What's done is done. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Brown. I think I'll leave it at that. Keep it simpler. What is Oikawa's eye color? I think it's also brown. He definitely has a more like a... Like a reddish brown. So maybe I can like shade in with like a reddish brown. We'll see. Uh, my story has a lot of mystery and some fights. Has some romance too. Sounds like, yeah, sounds like right up my alley as well. Right there. Bum, bum. There you go. Just very minimal shading because I don't want to like do it the whole thing and darken up the whole thing now we just need orange green and that's it orange and green and then we can move on to our ocs yes you're welcome you're welcome on the barrow thank you for requesting and i'm so glad you won your volleyball game today orange and then it skips and then it's green 
Perfect. Now on to our OCs, Yoma. This is the this is the one I've been looking forward to the most in the night, and we have about thirty minutes to to get to finish both of our OCs. So um, I'm gonna pull up your descriptions of um, Damien here. You said to reference Timothy. Can I just reference him straight up? Or are there any other like details that I should keep in mind? With yeah, actually, just let me know. To Psyche K. Oh wait, I can I can let me look let me look Yoma. All right, open image and new tab. And zoom in. Q, I love him so much. I loved how you made him so kind, like look so kind hearted and all the the sparkles. This is his face that he would make if he would be eating um uh coffee jelly. Ooh, I hear thunder outside. How relaxing. Okay. Oh, did you read as to why Lola died? I think I did. Wait, I did and now I'm like blanking out. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, logs. And look up. Um, yes, yeah, someone murdered Lola, right? I think that's the only thing that I remember. Let me look up Damien here. I'm wondering, did I spell my Damien the same way you did? Let me check. Oh, Damien's parents were part of a dangerous group? Oh, just like my Damien. Damien's um, family is also part of a dangerous group. Just reference Timothy Chalamet. Um... He can do magic tricks. He's funny. He's also kind. Oh wow, such so opposite of my Damien, actually. Perfect, perfect. Okay, okay. Let me look up Timothy here. Dun, dun, dun. What's his outfit? Is he also in a uniform? Kind of like Lotte? Or do you want me to draw him like something else that he like wears more casually? I'll draw him a little bit beat up. He'll be like, hey, 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 hey. Uh, let's see here. Who is Nightbot and why do they keep reminding me today? I don't drink enough water. Nightbot is my bot. And honestly, I, I made this time, uh, time command from Nightbot to tell me to drink water as well because I forget. Like at least every 30 minutes, I think that's a good bare minimum for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, it looks exactly like Timothy Chalamet. Perfect. I can just straight up reference him. I haven't watched this recent movie, which was like Dune, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe this one. Open image, new tab. <laughs> yes, both of them are named Damien, like exactly. So, this is actually like I hold Damien very close to my heart as an OC because um, their story actually got a little more developed than my other stories. Because, you know, I have my other stories, they're kind of, like, underdeveloped because I dropped them way too, like, easily. Um, but for this one specifically, I actually developed it and I started publishing it online. And I even got a contract out of it. So the, the platform that I, I was publishing in was 
I forgot the website. I think it might be a web novel. And they offered me a contract, but I haven't updated it since last year because of uh, complications. I don't know. I guess I'll tell you guys because it's not that bad complication. So I was on fire with writing this novel, right? I was like writing a thousand words a day. I was set to finish it. I have plotted the whole thing and everything. And I got this like contract and I like was like so on fire with it and everything. And then um, I, someone stole my laptop. <laughs> it's a big me oopsie because I left my backpack in a cafe but i had high hopes because i left the backpack right before closing so i was like there's no way that other customers are gonna get to it and um and i'm gonna like try to camp early tomorrow and everything um to to get it uh but then um i went and camped the next day and was looking for it um, and then I asked the worker and he's sort of like, oh, I don't really see a backpack. And I didn't see a backpack coming in. Like, he was the first worker. It's his first shift. And I was like, that's weird. Can you, like, check under the counter? Maybe the previous worker saw it and cleaned it up and whatever. And he saw it. He was, like, being very honest. He's like, oh, wait, I found it. I'm so glad that we got it back to you. And my wallet was in there. But you, mind you, my wallet was in there. Nothing was taken. Wait, no. My wallet was not in there. I had my wallet. My other stuff was in there. My books and everything. So like my other books were in there. My charger was in there. But my laptop was missing. So I was like no way that this laptop is just gone. Like someone like the, someone from the previous shift definitely took it. I filed like a police report and everything. But you know they really can't do much with, with those kind of cases. So, I know exactly their faces. I even have their names recorded. Um, so, I was just like, you know what? At the end of the day, everything in this world I don't own anyway. So, I didn't get too down on it. But at the same time, it kind of like demotivated me on writing the story. So, I haven't, I haven't developed the story since. <laughs> I think I got up to chapter 23. So, I had 23 chapters out. Oh, but Damien, Damien, I like him because, I don't know, I just hold him very dear, near and dear to my heart. Because I, I don't know, do I sympathize with him? I don't sympathize with him that much, but I think he's just a very unique character. He's very cold. He came from a very, like, like rough background. He, for context, he is a, the demon prince. So he's a prince in the demon realm. And, you know, he was raised to be like, oh, you need to be tough and you need to be like cold and kind of objective because we're here to serve punishments, serve justice and that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, he grew up kind of in that way. But then he goes to the human world to prove that he deserves his spot in the academy um, and learns empathy from our main female lead, which her name is Naomi. Um, and Naomi's like very bubbly and it's the whole grump, grumpy ex sunshine kind of dynamic, you know, very fun. Um, wait, let me catch up on some, some chats here. Um, his outfit is a brown academy uniform and he has long sleeves but usually rolls them up. All right, perfect. Um, mm -mm -mm. beautiful, beautiful. Oh, can't see the sketch area? Oh, wait. Let me move it up. I just realized that I'm, like, not in frame. Let me see if I can, like, angle it. There you go. Yeah, the bottom angle is always, like, the toughest for me to, like, show. Let me push it up a little bit. Oh, I think I found the rest of my needleable eraser. There you go. I think, I think we're better. I think we're better. All right, let me catch up on here. Hello, Sophia. Welcome to stream. Yeah, no, no, not Damien from Spy Family. Two Damien's are OCs. First stream I came, uh, came across actually meant something. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you found us, Alex. Welcome to stream. We can also update my game to Just Wars. Oh, okay, okay. That's from like um, Roblox and everything. Oh, wait, you're making a game, Vars? That's so cool. 
I'm also into the de game development. For those wondering, okay, so this will be um, Yoma's Damien. Damien, Yoma. So we got his pose down, and then I'll draw my Damien here. But yeah, my my Damien, um, his character is he's a demon demon prince, raised to be very cold. But in reality, he's actually a super softy. He likes pretty things. Like he he likes dressing up. He likes makeup. He likes um, flowers and bright colors. Even though he's dressed up in black all the time, because that's just how he was raised. Like you know, he's like. Um, from the country that he was from, everything's very drab, aesthetically. Um, uh, and also everything, he didn't have the luxury to enjoy things because their country is very poor. And um, here, he's going to be crossing his arms. I guess a very simple pose here. His country is very poor, so like all they're really focusing on is surviving and getting in proper food imports or exports or whatever they're called. Um, oh wait, now I'm drawing out of... How do I? Maybe I can like, since we're drawing two characters, maybe there's a way that I can angle this. Let me unplug this since I think my phone's fully charged. How do I? There you go. I think, wait, I'll have to like look at stream to see. Slanted, slanted, like right, like that. Um, one. Oh, it got worse. Like this, maybe? Kind of like that. There you go. Right? Right? It's gonna be a little slanted. I'll show you like the final results later um, to really show like the proper angle of everything. But I think that's the best I can do with that. Let me see if I can um, catch up on chat here a little bit. Um, thank you, Sofia. Gracias. Gracias, Sofia. Can you do my PFP next? Sure, I'll save it for tomorrow's stream. Kaiden's PFP. Um, the OC is so much different from my OC. Damien will probably be annoyed with my Damien. No, no, no. Uh, okay, actually, no, never mind. He might be. He might be. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think they're the opposites. Because you said your Damien is funny and very kind. My Damien is. Um, I think he's funny in a different way. He's funny in a way that like he doesn't understand like normal social cues because he's learning how to be human because he is a demon. Um, so he has a lot of goofy moments. But over time, he does get a lot softer because again, his true character is like very soft actually and he has a big heart but he just doesn't know how to express that he has a big heart and the main main female lead kind of helps and helps him out and navigates through that all right let's work on your damien first so he has a little droopy droopy look let me see if i can like incorporate what i learned with my ikemen studies here Right there. I think. I think that's okay. And then he's he has like a big goofy smile. I'm trying to draw his eyes a little more like kind of droopy. Mm. I think maybe like that. I think I yoinked this smile from maybe um, fairy tale, and ever since then, if I have like a big goofy smile, I've always used that. Um, let me read some of the chat here. <laughs> Jake is confused. How can you make a game if you don't know how to code? I think there's a lot of ways. There's probably like drag drop type of game game engines. It, you'd be surprised with how much. Um, game engine game engine variety there is these days even like scratch okay there might be a little like um from the marker bleed over here yoma but don't worry once we color it in it shouldn't be too noticeable am i making him too happy yoma let me know 
I might be making him too happy. <laughs> maybe, if anything, instead of like the big smile, maybe we can just do like a subtle smile because Timothy is very subtle with his smiles anyway, so. Just like that. And then now the hair is probably going to be the most difficult part for me. I don't really, I think that's the one weakness I have. I don't, I, I don't really like diverge away from like anime hair so i always like default to um the typical anime hair i see and i don't think timothy's hair is like exactly like animal like you can't translate it actually never mind i take that back i think i can translate it to anime hair let's see if we can do it simplification challenge accepted challenge accepted um, oh, hey again, may I ask what you are doing? Oh, yes, I am drawing now two OCs requested by Yoma. Um, her OC is named Damien, and my OC is also named Damien. So, um, <laughs> I'm making them kind of interact together. And since I said I wanted to make this Damien a little beat up, I'm gonna give him like a band aid right over here. Right there. Um, okay, so not exactly bangs here. It kind of swoops up up here. So I'll add a little swoopy and I'll add a little swoopy up here. Something like that. Here, here, here. Um, I love your Discord server. Oh, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying that. That is my goal. Suggestion, why don't you find a way to put perspective above your head and only focus on your sketchbook? Oh, kind of like um um like where my my forehead is. That would be cool. I'd have to research a way to do that. There's there should there I'm sure there's a way, but maybe like I need like special equipment cuz right now I'm really only um I'm only really drawing from my phone so i have to find like a, a thing that straps my phone into let me see here i'm like not liking this part too much um into my head if i want to do that or maybe i can i've been meaning to find like an architecture lamp almost wait i think his hairline's a little too high here um architecture lamp that um it easily moves around and focus on my sketchbook more Yes. Yeah, this is my first time drawing like two characters together. Maybe I should have made them closer. Oh well, too late now. <laughs> I mean, I can move Damien a little bit over. And then just eyebrows right here. Let me see. I think he needs more curls because Timothy has a lot of curls in it. But yeah, in the future, hopefully we can get a better setup here. Um, oh yes, if you want to join the Discord, do exclamation mark Discord and you should be able to get the link. Um, I think Nightbot is a command for that. Uh, Lote is a really popular girl at the Academy, while Damien is well known but not popular for magic tricks. Oh, for his magic okay. tricks. Oh, hey Shireen, what's up? Did you already return the book? Oh no, you didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, you have to return it by this week. That's true. Ah. Oh, please. Alrighty, good thing you remembered. You're so responsible. Bye bye. Um, but lots of girls. But Damien's hearts. Oh, lots of. Oh, there's a lot of interest from lots of girls. And Damien's hearts only belong to Latte Cute. I like the whole like um, like popular and then the book smart kind of. But then again, Latte is also popular. So they're both kind of popular to own, their own degree. My characters, they're not popular at all every both of them they are actually they're infamous they're not popular but they're infamous so they the main character my main female mc is very she's a uh, klutz so she's very like bad luck um she messes up a lot of things she's a little slow um and that's why she's like working really hard to prove herself and that she deserves to be like the future queen right um so that's kind of something that she has to navigate through and because of that she gets the infamous kind of um reputation around school of like 
um, kind of being a dunce almost. Like it's sad. It's a sad reputation, but that's kind of her reputation within the school. And then Damien, on the other hand, he is infamous for being very. Here, let me let me focus on Damien for now, actually, since we're working on Damien. Um, well, <laughs> I say let's focus on Damien, but they're both Damien's. How ironic. Um, and Damien is infamous for being really intimidating and scary. So, like, no one can approach him. No one, he doesn't, like, have that many friends. And people who have tried approaching him have just been terrified to uh, do anything more than, like, I don't know, kind of pass by him and everything. But he is known to kind of put himself in weird spaces. Like, he'll be, like, he'll sit down at a cafe or cafeteria table and he's like i want to be here and make friends like in his mind it's like wholesome and everything he's like i'm gonna make friends today once and for all but then everyone's scared of him because he has a like a, a really really scary resting face um and then everyone will kind of like run away from him and i'm just like poor guy poor guy but that that's their reputation both of them are kind of like outcasts of the school almost and they don't know it. They're kind of oblivious to it. They don't know that they have a reputation within the school um, for being kind of a uh, kooky a little bit. So even a greater reveal later, because then later they're going to be revealed to be like the next in line for rulers or whatever. It's going to be a, a crazier reveal for that. Yes, so generally it's two Nepo babies um, navigating and trying to prove that they deserve the spots that they get. <laughs> Nepotism, how beautiful. And then maybe we'll get like a scratch on here. Something like that. Okay, and then I think Timothy also has some like stray strands in the back here. So we'll include that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna line this Damien right now and then I'll work on Damien, my Damien later. Um, and then I'll show you guys both of them kind of together. Um, let's see here. Let me read. Wait, I th let me switch it to live chat because again, I might mi be missing some chats here. Okay, perfect. Let me do some chat break here. Let me do a chat break so I can kind of catch up a little bit. Um... All right, perfect. I can send a pic for example. I would have, but I don't know how. Oh, um, maybe maybe the Discord? I'm not sure. I think that's the only way to send me a pic. Or a community post. If you have a community tab, just let me know if you do. Um, oh, he usually smells with his mouth closed and he doesn't smell with his mouth open like ever. Okay, perfect. I, good thing I, I edited it before I, before I whatchamacallit. Um inked it inked it honestly i'm obsessed with just this once i don't know why also so far damon looks like the damon he should so far perfect per perfect not the rbf i feel that right yeah so he struggles so much very much actually with the rbf to the point the first time that the female lead and damon well i keep saying female lead her name is naomi um first time naomi and damon meets naomi thinks damon is out to kill her like like she looks at him and he's like oh my gosh he has like a personal vendetta vendetta against me and you know he's trying to get me and she kind of suffers from like an almost like a panic attack um little does she know that damien has um friends that are demons well no 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 he, he damien is friends with the grim reaper so he's friends with a grim reaper and the grim reaper decided to latch onto naomi for funsies because he was bored um following damien around and naomi just happens to be near damien at that time um and that's what's causing her weird um like anxiety and weird like sicknesses and then damien finds out that the grim reaper has been messing with naomi and he gets really protective and he gets really like sad because he's like 
I wanted to be friends with Naomi. What are you doing? Like messing it up for me. Um, and they come like kind of overcome a struggle through that. Yes, there's a little bit of romance. I will never write a story without romance in it. <laughs> it's my motivation. It's my motivation. Dave, should I add eyelashes to him? Oh, it's up to you. If anything, what would be cute is maybe like a simple like um stray eye like a simple one or two eyelashes in the upper corner or something kind of just like an accent eyelash not like gojo eyelashes but i think accent eyelashes would be cute you know those like really cool i um it's more like eyeliner if anything more than eyelashes yeah that would be that would be um let me see here oh there you go there's the discord link RBF root beer float question mark? Oh no, RBF is a uh, short for resting B face. Um, so like people who has whenever their face is at resting, some people look really scary and mean. Um, so yes, that's what that means. I think I generally have one too, but it's a good thing that I barely have a resting face. I usually smile because I'm thinking of I don't know, guys. Is it just me or I think a lot? I think of a lot of funny scenarios in my head whenever I'm just walking in like from class to class. <laughs> so generally, I find myself smiling randomly. Also, Lotte might be popular with lots of friends, but all of them are fake just wanting to be famous. The only true friends she had were Lola, Damien, Anthony, and Marie. Aww, so she struggles with kind of that, that um, popularity... Um, Yes, popularity struggle. I don't know. I, for, I was gonna say something and then I lost it. It like flew away from my mind. Um, let me see. Do they struggle with anything social status? I think Damien struggles with social status because you know how their whole journey is sort of like learning to be proving themselves to be like the next in next in line with um with their kingdoms and everything. So in a way, their goal is to be popular. Damien and Naomi's. Um, and well love because you need the you need the general public's approval in order to gain sentiments kind of like politics almost right in order in order to gain like the people's trust and like support you as a ruler so when they actually start achieving that and Damien starts getting more popular um, he struggles with finding out who actually wants to be his friend or not like are you genuine? Are you not? And Naomi is actually the one who helps him navigate through those things. But there, there is, they kind of have a Hinata and Kageyama moment, you know, um, of like kind of separation and kind of sulking from each other before that happens. So yes. They are in high school. They are in high school. Oh yeah, what ages is Lotte and Damien for you, um, Yoma? most of my characters actually no 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 i lied a lot of my characters are in middle school because most of my stories i made oh my bird's flying again frost why are you flying it's dangerous to fly at night should i turn on my lights if he flies one more time i'll turn on my lights um yes most of the stories i made were from middle school so a lot of my sto my characters are from middle school but i tend to like writing younger characters mainly because i like setting it in a school environment it's a lot easier it makes it um kind of easier to yes i do have a bird he's a budgie i may, may I allow him to free roam so he kind of just flies around my room um and his my whole room is his cage so he i think he's flying around because it's it's been storming all day so he might sense a little bit of like maybe danger and when he's un uneasy he uh, likes to fly around like hurricanes are the worst when when hurricanes happen because then i just sleep with the lights on because he's gonna be flying the whole night so that might be what's happening while he's flying around um let me see okay perfect i haven't missed any chat yet so we're still good da -da. And then the story doesn't actually take place only in the school. 
um, you know, the story starts out very shallow because it's like first they're trying to get popular. That's kind of their motivation. They're trying to get well loved to be like politically ready. But then the whole story kind of takes a twist when the elements of the demon world kind of starts taking place. And what Damien didn't know was um, he had to like like i think naomi was involved with something with the demon world her parents kind of signing the contract with the devil because her parents were dead her parents got in trouble or something um and they like signed a contract with like damien's family or something someone someone related to damien because damien's the demon prince um and that kind of forever bound naomi to the demon world and Damien didn't know and in at the end of the day like he kind of has to step up and like change things because he would be the next ruler of the demon world but it's hard to change things when he's not the ruler yet and then everyone's disapproving and all the demons are like you can't be a ruler you're not on our side blah blah blah, blah, blah that kind of thing so more political complication there's i think i have like three arcs planned out for for my characters one in the school one in the countries because the countries themselves respectively have a very complicated political like turmoil that they have to resolve like the human countries and then the demon realm is like the final arc that they have to kind of um navigate through all right so finished with yoma's damien what time is it time check oh it's already 10 30. let me try to i think i'll be able to draw damien straight up from um memory so mm, i'm not comfortable enough to do it all in pen so let me try to draw him real quick um hurricanes never experienced anything like that but i've been narrowly missed by a few tornadoes it's similar there's very strong winds but i think the difference between hurricane and tornado is hurricane has like rain that's pretty much it yep 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 yeah it's already 10 30 that's crazy okay wait let me let me speed up speed up this real quick so damien has a very like mean i never actually finalized his design so like i'm still i'm still on the um let me see you make, make him look at um another damien here yeah i never finalized his design so it's still up in question it might this might not even be like the final design for damien but generally it should be all similar in terms of like wait let me move this in terms of like um overall color palette i think i'm pretty sure on his color palette which is like red black and blue something like that dun, 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 dun. and then his hair is just it's pretty flat i don't really have crazy hair i'm trying to think oh wait i think i have one character that has crazy hair he has like um Kind of like uh like beyblade hair <laughs> i think he has like a what is it what is it an undercut under what is it i don't know the guy i don't know guy hairstyles guys but it's like shaved at the side over here so he looks really mean but he's actually super soft on the inside <laughs> Wait, why would he be smiling? He would be like, he would be like, he would be like, why did you injure yourself? You're not allowed to get injured, kind of thing. And he also has an ac academy uniform, so I'm literally, <laughs> they're going to be wearing the same thing. He likes painting his nails, so his nails will be painted black, but I don't feel like drawing his hands out right now, so. I'm dizzy. Oh no! If you need to, if you need to rest, Mellow, by all means rest. I think we're set. We're set here. We're almost done anyway. So, okay. I think I'm done with Damien here. Let me quickly line him. Zero five. Ding, ding, ding. And then his color palette, is it exactly like Timothy as well? For, for your Damien, Yoma? 
at the day what arcs what are arcs i don't know what it means also damien looks like exactly the damien he should be um now i'm staying okay okay uh arcs are basically like chunks of your story essentially because there could be your main plot um your over overall arcing plot so it's like um i guess my with my story the overarching plot is damien and naomi has to become successful heirs to the throne and they have to prove it and they have to manage their you know political whatever's arcs are kind of like the different stages that will get them through the whole plot so the first stage of them trying to get become the successful heir uh, of heirs is uh school so they have to get through school and there's kind of like a subplot happening in school and in the subplot is sort of like just their popularity and them learning the very basics it's sort of like step one um and then they might even resolve some part of the theme in that subplot and then the next arc for me is the countries now the countries it gets a little more world building and i introduce political struggles and what the people think and not just not just student popularity it, it'll just actually be like what what rulers need to do which is make laws and changes for the greater good of the people so that still contributes to the main plot but it's a different arc they're no longer in school and then the final arc is the demon world arc which is um now just like a curveball in the story where it's no longer just the human world that they're dealing with and it's also the the underworld that they're dealing with yes so those are arcs i don't know the exact definition for them but you can think of them as sort of like stages of the overall plot if i can explain it kind of like naruto they have their arcs for the beginning they have their elementary school arc where Naruto goes through elementary and she has to get past and become a genin. And then the next arc is the um, Kakashi training arc. Like Kakashi's training them and they have to prove themselves um, under Kakashi's guide. And then there's a tournament arc where they compete with the other shinobis. Um, yes, and there's so many arcs in Naruto. So like there's an overarching plot for Naruto, which is he has to become a Hokage. But before he becomes a Hokage, he ends up going through many, many arcs. All right, so now we're gonna color. I'm gonna color Dame, your Damien first. Um, just real quick, so that I don't get too late here. Let me try to finish it in like, I don't know, five minutes. <laughs> uh, milky white. He has brown hair, so let me just do this. Dun, 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 dun. Um, Lotte and Damon are both 15 in the first volume and then 19 in the last volume. I think, yeah, so high school. I think my characters are the same. So they're both 15 in the beginning. In the end, I'm actually not sure. I don't think this, their story lasts that long, actually. It might only last three years so they might just end at 18 alrighty and he has sort of like green eyes I can't really capture the green eyes or the hazel eyes that well because I don't have like really really light green here and he has brown hair I'll start out with this as a base and then I'll go darker um, finish my quick my duck Finish my duck. I'm eating dinner. If you're still alive, I want to. I'll be back. Bye bye. Bye, Goofy. See you later. Um, oh no, Mello's dizzy. Mello, you should um, you should really get some rest. Mello, you should really get some rest. It's probably because you didn't sleep last night. I also didn't sleep last night. Last night, but honestly, I'm not that bad yet. Um, I'm staying. I have an eye. Oh, eye doctor appointment. That might be it. That might be it. Yes, you will stay because of you out today. No. Um, I'm sorry I can't stay, but I'm a sub now. You're good, Amelia. Thank you for subbing. Thank you, thank you. Oh, hey, she cuz. Hello, hello. Okay, Bax. Hey, Goofy. Wow, that was quick. You're quick. Hey, Sids. What's up? What's up? 
You really shouldn't tell that to me, she cuz. Like, <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing to admit. Hi, Irvin. Welcome to stream. Oh, wait, I forgot her, his other ear here. Um, let me see. Where's Milky White? Speaking of sleep, isn't that something you said you're supposed to be fixing? Yes, I did. That's what I'm trying to finish before. Oh my gosh, five minutes have passed. Don't worry, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. We're on the final stretch. I'm going to sleep right after this. I promise, guys. Honest to goodness, I promise. Is it okay if I color their uniforms in black, Yoma? That's kind of the, the uniform that Damien is wearing. So I'll have them kind of in like... Um, um, uniform, matching uniforms. I will do it anyway. <laughs> I began Kirby in as fast as I physically could. Really? Wait, which Kirby game, Goofy? How are you doing? I hope life is treating you well and continues to. And always remember to keep your head high. Oh, thank you, an Outsider. Oh, I'll just call you Outsider then. Thank you, thank you. Such a heartwarming, encouraging comment. I'm Filipino. Do you understand Tagalog? 100%. I do. Um, wait, let me try and speak it. I'm like buffering. I'm buffering. My brain is not braining right now. Um, hi, kamusta? Oh, <laughs> wait, I'm blanking out. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> wait, let me think of a sentence and then let me translate in my head. Kamusta? Uh, saan ka galing? Or saan ka ngayon? Um, I'm not like super fluent anymore. Man, I hate to say that, but I haven't practiced in a while. But I 100% understand it, and I used to speak very well. I think it's been a while since I've practiced. Or maybe my brain is just not braining. I swear I can speak. I promise. I promise. I think I can be a star. I'm a star. <laughs> It feels like that. It feels like that right now. Um, Kirby is mubble. I agree. I agree. Why does Damien look exactly like my Damien? Also, sure, you can give him a black uniform as long as he looks like Damien. Perfect, perfect. I'm, make, I'm putting him in our academy uniform. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a, I'll make a cameo with your Damien in my story. That would be cute. I can imagine. I can imagine. Since we've drawn him, we've drawn them together now. I'll just give him blush last minute. Right there. Okay. Time check. 1042. I'm just going to finish my Damien and we should be set. My Damien looks really mean right now. <laughs> Which is pretty accurate to, to how he looks like. Do you understand? You understand why he gets misunderstood. It's not exactly the people's fault around him, so yes. But he's a he's a sweetie patootie, sweetie patootie, cutie patootie. He's actually so sweet and so kind. He has like a really big heart. The re actually one of the reasons why he went to the Human World Academy was because he wanted to break away from the typical demon like like culture. And he's like, no, 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 no. This cannot be the end all of all these, all of these things. Wait, did I give him red eyes? I think I did. Um, this cannot be like the final thing. Because he noticed that the people, his country, the country that I'm talking about, they're actually all like demons in the country. But they're struggling because they don't, they're not willing to trust humans fully. So they're not willing to accept help. They're kind of like prideful and... They're like, we don't need help from humans. We're literally like ethereal beings. But Damien is sort of like, no, we can get along and we can like be part of that world as well. Um, and still keep, stay true to our culture and who we are. And that's why he went to the human world to better understand and also get some help for his country. Because his country really does need help um, and learn more about the world because they live in such a secluded space they're kind of blocked off by the mountains and everything that they've st they're starting to like lose sight of what the real world is like and what the world has to offer and like all of the people in his country are kind of just satisfied where they're at but he's like this cannot be it like you guys are like suffering from hunger and and like basic living needs how are you satisfied with this 
just because of your like petty pride so that is part of part of the like he might be a little harsh about it but um that's part of his kind of arc um um he has a bigger heart than he has a sharp um judgment kind of thing all right almost done almost done and then i'll kind of finish off by reading chat here give him blush as well he has like purple hues in his skin because he's so he's so pale where he comes from he comes from like the mountains and it's really really cold so he doesn't um actually i'll just shade him in with purple he doesn't um what is it called he doesn't have any melanin in his skin he looks a little dead i mean he is a demon prince so Alrighty, quite opposite of the, of each other actually. Okay, we finished. Day, me, Yen. Beautiful, and then I'll show you guys a whole kind of like it'll be horizontal. But there you go. Um, the two, one and only. Wait, is it showing? There you go. There you go, it's showing horizontally. Look at them, look at them. They're so adorable. Okay, then I'm going to, um, whatchamacallit? I'm going to read a few comments. Let me just rearrange this so you guys can just look at them for a little while. Um, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll finish reading some of the comments here. Uh, let me see if I could pull, pull them up. There you go. I think they're both in frame now. Okay, let me, ah, there you go. Alrighty. Um. Oh, as long as it looks like them. Okay, perfect, perfect. Come on, po ako si Yoma. Sorry if I said something wrong. Also Filipino. Hey, no, that actually that's good. That's good. Wait, I should have introduced myself. Uh, come ako po si Day. Um. <laughs> ano, yung, ano yung Tagalog ng drawing? Um, Nagda-drawing lang po ako. <laughs> oh, may I ask what you're doing? Oh, I'm drawing the two Damien OCs from Yoma. But this is Yoma's OC and this is my OC. It's funny because we both have OCs named Damien, so I wanted to draw them together. Demon culture? What is demon culture? Okay, so in my head canon, in my mind, demon culture... Because they have a responsibility over like consequences of your actions, right? Um, and you know, basically bringing justice to bad people in the world. Um, and they're very like cold and uh, objective. So all of them tend to have that kind of mindset. And they obviously think that humans are lower than them because they have a higher purpose and higher higher like role in, in things so yes that is kind of like the general gist of of like so-called demon culture <laughs> in my mind in my head canon this is all fictional guys um you speak like someone that shares everything they are told <laughs> uh i think so i think um your damien looks exactly what i thought he would look like at the day yeah pretty much he is exactly that naomi has pink hair so like they are very like opposite aesthetics so it'd be cute if we can draw our, if we, if I can draw my Naomi too and like have latte. Oh my gosh, that would be so fun! Um, your art is amazing. Thanks, Miami. Um, donation. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I think nuclear annihilation, huh? Thanks out today for drawing Damien next Damien. Also out today, can I screenshot this? Yes, feel free to screenshot them. Here, let me angle them at a better, like, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what a better angle is, but um, let me see. Let me see how it reacts. There you go. I think that's a better angle. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Wait, let me move it down a little bit. Wait, there's some delay in the, in the, in the stream here. So let me move it a little bit to get you, like, the best. I think, yeah, I think that's the best that I can get it at. Um... Thanks very much, Atide. Could you draw Lola? You can use my PFP. Sure, I'll prepare Lola for next stream. Lola. Yes, keep keep Lola as your PFP, then I can use it as a reference. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna sign out. Um 
from there. Um, glad to have joined you guys here. It was very fun. And as always, see you guys tomorrow. And let's see if we can end stream earlier tomorrow. Slowly but surely, I'm ending stream earlier and earlier. So, and thank you, Kens, for always um, commenting warm comments as well. Lovely. Thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Um, next, you should draw both of our Naomi OCs if... Oh, oh, you're right. I forgot. They're both Naomi's. Yes. Yes. Actually, I love that idea. I love that idea. I make a dragon inspired... Um, a dragon inspired by Jack Stober. Oh! Oh, wait, actually, let me look up Jack Stober. I know he, you mentioned him before, but I don't actually know who Jack Stober is. So, Jack Stober. Oh, a musician? Oh, no, a YouTuber, a YouTuber. And a musician. I see, I see. That's so cool. Good luck, good luck, Sid, with that, Sid. Oh, who should I edit? Mm, um, let me think of a One Piece character. Can you do one of uh, Zoro? Zoro? He makes great music? Oh, I'll definitely check him out. Yes, all right. Good night, everyone. Cad uh, question of the day. Who do I edit? One Piece or JJK? One Piece, One Piece. Also, quick question about the request I mentioned earlier. Is it okay if I DM you a screenshot of them on Instagram? Yes, if you find my Instagram, which is they underscore created, um, DM me whoever you requested i actually already forgot who did you request i think i wrote it down um oh wait more pages oh yeah i might have missed i might have missed your missed your request kens but yes dm me on my instagram and i should be able oh it's an oc perfect perfect let me write that down so i don't forget kens oc Alrighty, and i'll try my best to prepare all of those and let me know i don't know like comment on one of my posts or something if you can't find my instagram but it should be the same username which is day underscore created bye bye good night yes let's sleep well today mellow get some good sleep i'll tuck you in this is my virtual tucking in good night mellow by the way the song meanings are dark just to let you know that's okay i like listening to all kinds of music so oh and you can just show me call me kk for short by the way oh that's cute sure i'll call you kk if you want to see the dragon, I will post it in a couple days. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Remind me in a couple days. Then I'll check out wherever you post it. Sleep well. Good night. Good night. Hi, dog lover. We're actually ending stream. Sleep well, everyone. Can we pray on stream? Sure. Um, I pray that y'all have good dreams and um, good nights. Amen. Bye. Drink water day. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to pop you guys off now. And... Um, Yes, and we'll end it there. Thank you, you guys. It was such a pleasure. It was such a pleasure accompanying all of you guys today. Good night. Alrighty. Oh, on my channel? Alrighty. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs>